Welcome to TPK Roleplay. Tonight we continue our series of rotating one-shots wherein our brave band of adventurers continue their work with the Harper Faction to investigate mysteries within the realm. Tonight's adventure is based on Warriors of Sahanin, written by Florian Emmerich, JVC Perry, and Ashley Warren. I am Luke Locke, and I will be your dungeon master this evening. Players, if you'd like to go around in order of overlay and introduce yourselves, starting with Sarah. Uh, hello, I'm Osaric Franco, uh, and I play uh, Rory Diewind, the half orc uh, monk. And uh, last time there was a kerfuffle with his, his best friend, but I think we're okay now. Pass me over to Sahak. Hey guys, it's me, Sir Hecolot, you know, uh, and I'm going to be playing Lenora, the uh, Eric and Asi rogue, uh, and we're just going to see how it goes. Let's just keep on moving on. I'm Tony, back with Talo, the bod rogue. Uh, I've been kind of doing some behind the scenes things, um, but I'm going to pass it over to Luke. Hey everyone, I'm Tyrant. Uh... I am playing Luke, the human warlock wizard. Pass it on to Turk. Indeed, I am Turk. I'll be playing Ulrich, uh, the cavalier human fighter. Uh, that's really all to it. He's a well-armored man, and I'm going to throw it over to an even well-armored man. And it's out. Or something like that. Hey, folks, it's Elabitha, uh for some reason playing Chauncey the uh, Mark of Hospitality Halfling Bard of Creation and General Souschef. All right, let me bring you over to your hideout, the Harper's hideout, uh, where Chauncey is now. Just puttering around in the, the kitchen, I would assume. Mm -hmm. He's always been here. He's always been here. He's never not been here. You've just never noticed him before. <laughs> um, and at some point, uh, you will hear a strange sound outside that almost sounds like a portal. And a man, uh, well, a werewolf will walk in the front door. Let me pull him over. He will burst the door open, and you guys will see uh, a werewolf with glasses bursting in the front door. He uh, is a wild-eyed, older, um, elven-looking werewolf, slider in build, with his clothing of elven make. He's got a, th a thin frame with books and quills sticking out of his bag. I'll show you guys. He does have quite a bit of blood on his robes, and he will burst in and make eye contact with you, Rory, and growl at you and say, Not as we as we, Hamish. Where is he? Right, I'll go find him, and he'll just wordlessly push up uh, and start go back to try and find Not as we as we, Hamish. Okay. Uh, you find not as we as we Hamish downstairs, uh, who will come come up and look at the creature and say, "Bivin, what's the meaning of this?" At which point, Fivin will burst in, uh, a monologue of sorts. There was a dragon, and it attacked. We've lost most of our number. Uh, Leah has lost her arm. Elor has lost his eye. We cannot find the children. And most of our number is depleted. We need your help. Leah sent me for you. What does not as we as we Hamish look like? Like, is he nodding? What's his, what's his deal? I think Rory, too, probably would have gone and gathered everyone else. And said, 
Right, there's something fucking going on. Immediately, just over there, like... upon hearing uh, the name Leah, not as we as we Hamish, will jump into action and motion to you. All right, come on. Uh, and he's going to lead all of you, including Vivian, downstairs. I just go here. Yeah, right, it's Bloke knows, uh, not as well as we Hamish. Came in. Talking about a dragon of sorts. Not really sure what that means. Dragon? Like a real thing? Like Raven, Fire, Legends, all that? I ain't saying any of those words, but maybe. Oh, I hope it is. We just want to see one of them. Not as we as we Hamish doesn't say another word in his rush downstairs. He immediately grabs the dust, and then he will look at Fivin and say, Durlag's tower, is that all right? Is it close enough? I don't know that I can get much closer with the the magic of the wood. And Fivin will not... Yes, uh, I can I can direct uh, your members. Uh, tell me, is, is Nick here? Uh, and not as we as we Hamish will say, uh, no, he is... He's out... Uh, Send him to a few tasks, but I'll send him along as soon as he returns. And he will light up the portal for you guys. Stick with Fivin. He'll get you to Leah. Uh, right, and yeah. he'll light up the portal. Just like that. All right. Does he have more information? I'm heading through the portal. Oh, okay. Yeah, Rory's, Rory's already through. Rory, That's like, okay. the second he said... Finally, he, all right, mate. I suppose we can right walk through. and talk. <laughs> right. Chauncey will sidle up to not as we as we Hamish and be like, "Sir, I know I'm usually just in the in the kitchens most of the time, but in fact, I, I hardly think any of you even realise I'm here most of the time. You know, I'm so tiny wee that I don't even peek over the counter, and and I I I've never even seen what half these folks look like till right now. Are you sure you want me going on this?" This rather mysterious, dangerous sounding mission. Should we wait for a nick or someone more, uh, more um, ad adapt in this sort of thing to pop along? Ah, you'll do fine, laddie. Going through, I'll send Nick in a jiffy. Oh, all right then. And then just de -de 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 -de. no <laughs> questions asked. No questions who, asked. Who is this? No. Fine. <laughs> Holy cow! Shit. Um, yeah, tarlo has been trying to, like, make a quick sketch of this werewolf, because he's never seen one up front before. He wants to know the kind of more about them, but, like, getting rushed around just isn't great, and it's fucking up the sketch. He's just gonna kind of walk through annoyingly. Okay. Uh, you guys will find yourselves on the edge of a massive dark forest. Uh, Keeper, before we get too much further, can I get the name of that tower he's sending us to? Yes. In fact, I'm just about to show it to you. Awesome. It's Durlog's Tower. God, I know this name, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, let's see here. And I will do right here. Truly, this is the dankest dungeon. On the edge of a massive, dark, thick forest, you will see in the distance to the south a large tower. And I would wager that Tarla would probably know a little bit of this tower. It's a pretty well-known tower. Um, it's situated on top of a rough patch of hard rock, and it's it's kind of known throughout rumor in the city of Baldur's Gate. Um, it's got mm -hmm. quite a storied history, and mm -hmm. most recently was rumored to have been taken over by a lich. I don't like this. However, Fivin will not turn towards the tower. He will instead turn north to the edge of the forest and lead you deeper into the tree line. 
what is your guys' marching order? Uh, Rory will be up front. Ulrich's also up front. Okay. Uh, Lenore will be somewhere in the middle. Carlo will probably try to be behind Viv and trying to get an accurate sketch, but not paying attention. <laughs> Luke would have uh, the back. Fibbin, if he sees uh, you sketching away, Tarlo, he will actually <laughs> and pull out uh, a rolled up piece of paper and hand it to you. Uh, there, if you're uh, if you're the uh, note keeper, uh, you may have uh, this this map here of the wood. Oh, a map. Should we get separated? Where are we headed, by the way? Uh, Ravenblade Keep, but oh please God, try and keep up. And he is marching with speed into the forest. Oh, gods. <laughs> yeah, uh, Rory is just uh, very seriously fallen in step beside. Uh, I think he'll ask uh, Fiven. Right. <laughs> we expect in a fight. Yes, yes, we are expecting a fight. We have already had quite the fight. Uh, uh, I, I guess. And he's going to continue his steady pace into the forest. Uh, and he will update you as he marches through the underbrush. Uh, a handful of days ago, uh, there was... Uh, 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 we, were, we were just going about our business and there was a band of orcs that had that had been making their way through the forest, uh, uh, destroying, uh, the, the local flora and fauna. Uh, the, the elders met and we decided we had, uh, no choice but to, to drive the orcs from the forest, uh, using lethal force. They were, they were, uh, desecrating, uh, sacred grounds. Um, and, and it was, a. Uh, swift and brutal battle um, resulting in about uh, a diminishment of about half the orc forces um, we, we had some injuries um, and uh, unfortunately Leah's husband Lucan was uh, fell during the battle uh, I'm so sorry uh, of course uh, and, and we were Carrying Lucan to the chapel of the keep uh, to perform the rites and ceremonies. Um, and while we were away from the main uh, keep, <laughs> we neglected to see a threat uh, flying in above the forest. And, and it seems that it, it is a black dragon. Uh, it descended uh, upon the keep, the main, the main keep, and... There was just the sound of rending stone. Uh, we we fought va valiantly, but I must say that really only uh, Elar and Leah remain. Uh, we had to drag Leah away uh, after she lost her arm. Uh, she would not go willingly because uh, I am afraid her two children are still somewhere within the keep. Oh no. Uh, Rory will noticeably increase his speed. Do you remember the size of this worm? Uh, quite, quite large. It seemed to be full-grown adult. Oh, no. Does it breathe fire and everything? Uh... Ulrich, do you, are you not familiar with the dragons? I'm familiar with dragons, so I've never seen one in real life. Does it breathe fire? Uh, no, it appears to breathe acid. Acid. Whew. Yes, we'll melt the flesh off your bones. Well, that's why you wear armor and raise a shield. It up. will melt through your armor and stick your armor to your skin if it doesn't already melt off, Ulrich. It's not great. Sounds like something for someone else to worry about. But has this dragon um, taken over the keep, then? Uh, yes, she is firmly situated within the keep. Um, oh, it's a she. I do not know why she is here. Uh, uh, there was something strange about her. Um, she had this red glowing orb about her head. 
Uh, and every once in a while, it seemed as if she would stop and, and listen to it. But unfortunately, I couldn't do much more uh, in my studies uh, as we were engaged in battle. Please, uh, try, and, try and keep up. Yep, yep, yep. Easily do it. Uh, yeah, because even with the map that I was given, it doesn't show any form of, like, wetland-like area within, does it? Or is it just, like, the central lake-like? Uh, yes, there's a lock in the, in the center near the, the keep. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Well, if what I used to read was great, uh, the Black Dragons actually prefer like a marshy, swampy area. And if there's plenty of water, we'll probably try to hide in it, I would assume. Well, there are some swampier areas to the north. Uh, there is a, a, a druid that lives somewhat north in a small cottage. I do not know much about her, though. Um, and of course, there's the old ruins of Valar, uh, to the, to the northeast, but she seems to have chosen the keep. Hmm, I wonder if she got drove out, but that's another, another time we need to hurry. Yes, yes. Well, I, Mr. Farben, how many children? Two. Two. Just, just, just two? Fane and Cillin. What do they look like? Uh, uh, Fane is is a, a young boy, uh, well, nearly a man now. Uh, he's um, uh, he has uh, you know kind of curly, wavy, longer hair, um, uh, brown, and 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 he has a slightly wonky left ear. In the other? Uh, Cillin is quite younger. Uh, she is a, a joyous but shy girl. Uh, usually keeps to herself and reads history. Uh, her brown hair is uh, streaked with silver. Um, and she has uh, uh, quite a bit of freckles. And can I get a spelling on that name, please? Yes, S-Y-L-L-I-N. And then Fane is F-A-E-N. I got that oh, one right. I thought, nice. I thought you said Fane. <laughs> Fane. <laughs> Fane and Sylvan. Yeah. Right. Can you take us to the Slayer? We'll get it sorted right out. Yes, yes. Uh, there, uh, we were able to find a spot, a small cave uh, to take refuge in. You know, it is still quite dangerous in the forest. Uh, there are still uh, orcs remaining from the battle before so I and would do you think you know, they'd be willing to even attack us I do not know I mean we diminished about half their number but uh, who knows uh, wh whether they are planning to engage in battle again and seek us out fair enough hopefully we can avoid additional bloodshed is there any reason to believe that this dragon is in leg with these orcs any connections? I not. Uh, I I wouldn't know. Uh, but it's, uh, it's who's right, to say? Uh, Rory, uh, Rory will kind of turn back and make sure that everyone's still kind of keeping pace. And catching eye of Chauncey will actually stop. It were like in mid pace <laughs> and watch as he moves along. Chauncey's just like dawdling behind everyone else. He's only he's only little. He's only got little legs. But he's stopping every like 10, 15 feet to like pick up mushrooms or like, you know, pick some petals off a flower, again. Oh, oh, he's like stuffing into little pouches and little pockets, getting all oh, lovely, right? Yeah. We'll boil those up, they'll make a nice dye. And uh, right, okay, oh look, oh crams, there's some wheat grass here. Oh, perfect. Right, 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 that'll do lovely. Right. And... right, who are you? Oh, oh. Uh, hello, hello, uh, Chauncey, eyes here. Uh I, I'm a, uh, I'm the sous chef back at the, uh, hi, hello. I, what? I thought I, I thought I could be some help. Right. Nori will kind of give him the up down. 
It's fine. Well, usually it's Rory. The, I'm on the other side of the bar listening to all your adventures and your stories you're telling and going out and, and biffing and punching and giving him the right old, you know, knuckle supper before he goes to the, oh, up the wooden hill to bedtime land, like, bow, bow, yeah. bam. And it, I thought, well, to- perhaps, you know. I, I, I'm only small, but I could, I could, uh, I could, I could tell your stories, and I could listen, and maybe I'd be a part of one someday. And and all of a sudden, this this hairy chap shows up, and the next thing I know, I'm shoved through a portal, and here I am. <laughs> Funny how these things right. work out. Chauncey, I think you just said more words in that sentence than I've said all year. Name's Rory. Nice to have you. He'll shake his hand. Well, it's awfully nice to meet you, Mr. Rory. <laughs> oh, here's oh, you're the one that does all the punching and that. I think that's that's jolly great, but I'm not much of a uh, not much of a, 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 a knockout uh, myself. I'm afraid you, you'll have to you'll have to be teaching me a thing or two. <laughs> right, it's Tyler's been telling his stories again. I'm not much of a puncher well, of myself. Yeah, well, happy <laughs> happy to have you. Oh, wait, I like how the truth, my be, friend. What do you mean stories? Oh, perfect. Well, here I am. Ears are listening. Oh, look, look at these. Oh, lovely. They'll boil up something rotten. Here we go. Perfect. I'll put some of them in there. Chauncey, I think it'd be good for you to pay a little more attention to where we're going right now. Hmm? Your house says what? staying away from uh, the, uh, the dragon when we get to it, probably. Just... Why would we encounter a dragon? What yeah, you're not you wrong. Those would actually make a really good in a stew, but we need to get to moving. Who's fighting dragons? Yeah, Fivin, Honestly, we've Fivin has continued vegetables. marching, by the way. Oh, yep. Yeah. He Moving is on. just striding. Yeah. Long striding. Harpers. Uh, God, if he had long strider, he'd be zip. Rory will make sure to that Chauncey, even though he's smaller, is able to keep up giving him like literally like putting him on his shoulders and carrying him if necessary. You guys can move your tokens up if you'd like. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, what did you find? I I would love to know, but... Uh, as you... continue on, eventually you will see Thivin uh, reach two elves who are leaning against a small, tiny outcropping of rock that seems to have a cliff in its... or a uh, 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 <laughs> cliff... a uh, cave in its side. Uh, one of them is a, a well-built uh, elven man with uh, kind of wiry muscles and long copper hair that c- catches the sunlight. Uh, he appears to have lost an eye from battle and seems to be in pretty bad condition. Uh, and he will see Fivin and he will... You were able to get help from not as we as we Hamish. And Fivin will respond. And behind him, you will see uh, an elven woman. Uh, she appears like she's a rather tall elf with hazelnut hair streaked with strands of white. She appears to have lost her left arm. Uh, and she is breathing very shallowly and covered in blood. Uh, and there are just tear streaks through the blood and dirt on her face. Mm. And Fivin will introduce you. He will say, Ah, uh, Harpers, uh, this is Leah Pianthus, the winter. Uh, and, and, and this is Alar, Autumn, Leodon. Uh, together they are the setting sun. And Leah will just kind of very quietly close her eyes in a sort of nod. Um, as if she doesn't have much energy for anything else or more. And Aelar will come up and, and greet all of you with a nod. Nice to meet you, Auric. And then uh, we got the rest of them. 
Rory, Lenore, Darla, Luke, and Chansey. How did you get here? Oh, I, 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 well, uh, that's a good question. Um, for, for starters, right, I woke up this morning and I got out of bed and I thought, you know what? There's something different about today. And as I was hey, putting on hey, my slippers, Ulrich, like, hey, Ulrich, can you, can you not? Wait, what? I'm the short, the How short answer, get... please, Chauncey. Well, I guess technically all my answers will be short answers, but I guess uh, ah, there was no one else. Short. Uh, oh, that right, works. That's not very well, polite, but... welcome. Wait, he's. Can he in the head butt me balls? Anyway, uh, Tarlo kind of come forward and ask, is it all right if I can help possibly help you with your wounds? I'm a little bit of the medical knowledge inclined. Uh, we would, we would take any help you have. Aylar will respond to you. Uh, and then he will turn to Fivin and he'll say, I was able to scout. It looks like the dragon raised uh the skies ascend i i i fear that they are trapped there now i do not know how to get to them uh and fivin will look back at you all uh, perhaps they will be able to find a way or scale the keep and get in the children no he's, no, he's like directing oh. he's pointing oh, to okay. you we gotta get in it's probably Skies Ascent, that's Drawbridge or something. Well, no normally there is uh, the Skies Ascend, it is a series of bridges over the water into the keep, but uh, it appears to have been destroyed by the dragon. Of can we course. just can we just swim? Uh, well, it's a series of waterfalls. We actually, uh, ourselves, we actually jumped into the waterfall to escape uh, Dustbringer, uh, which appears to be the dragon's name. Dustbringer, that's a bit dramatic, don't you think? Uh, dragons always name themselves. They are quite vain. Is this Duskbringer still around? Or has it flown off? Oh, she appears to uh, still be there, though I have seen her flying uh, above the tree line here and there. She seems to be patrolling. I would bet that she is attempting to establish this as her new territory. So we right. oh, oh no. So we just head in, grab the kids, get out, maybe fight, maybe kill a dragon? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, she. We we did manage to wound her slightly. Uh, so the quicker that you can get there, the better. Um, it. It. I fear that it might be a a few days journey now, uh, up into the keep. Speaking of wounds, may I? Uh, yes, please. Um, what would you like me to do at this point, Luca? And also, uh. We have seven good tables. We'll get to them. Just so you know. <clears throat> um, do you want like a medicine check? Yes, do a medicine check for me. Ulrich, I don't believe that. Ooh, 25. Confronting the dragon would be a smart idea. Um, a 25? I can tell you that Leah has, uh, she appears exhausted. Like more, like mechanically speaking, you would guess that she has three levels of exhaustion. Well. Um, and <clears throat> probably very close to being unconscious in terms of health. Okay. Um, Fivin and Aylar also appear to be exhausted, though not as severely. Um, and also quite low on health. They um, they are bleeding uh, with with just kind of uh, health kit bandages across them. Nothing more than what would have been in their packs. All right. So Cabo gave this to me to use. I guess it's probably a time to use it now. And he will pull out one of the two potions of superior healing and give one to Leah. Okay. 
Uh, do you want to roll it out for me? Sure. 23. Nice. This won't kill your exhaustion, but hopefully it can help make you feel a bit better. You will see some slight color return to her cheeks. However, she is just sitting there, uh, breathing rather shallowly, shallowly still. Her eyes kind of flutter as you heal her. Um, and then he'll kind of let her rest because he doesn't have access to greater restoration. Um, yes, uh, up- Alar will, will kind of crouch near her. Uh, an attempt to get some of the blood uh, and hair out of her face and mud off of her cheeks. Um, in which case he will give Alar a cure wounds for seven. And it's even... Is it odd for Tarla not to see a werewolf regenerating? Would he know? Fivin? Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, roll a history check. Okay. Pretty good at that. 22. A 22. Uh, yeah, you would wager that he is regenerating, uh, but slowly, possibly due to his exhaustion. Okay. So, um, at a much slower rate. Uh, Tarlo will see his wounds and give him a cure wounds too. Okay. Four. Roll for me, roll 20. Ten. Okay. Hopefully this could help you all. Just, I don't have much, but. Okay. And also, Tony, I just saw my DM and the answer is yes. Neat. Um, Rory would have gone over, as soon as they showed up, he would have gone over uh, to Leah. Uh, and he wouldn't have said anything, I don't think. Uh, I think he would have sat down cross-legged from her. Uh, and he would have, you know, as Alar kind of trying to like wipe the blood and mud, he would have, he's always got his little satchel with him. He would have opened that up and pulled out a rag and wet it with the water from his water skin uh, and handed it across to her uh, and just would have just sit with her. Um, at one point, her eyes will kind of flutter uh, half open and she will look over to you and, and place a hand on your arm and in a very like weary, tired voice, uh, she'll say, She'll be in the, in the library. She, she loves the old books. That's that's where she would hide. And fine. He will be with her. He would be protecting her. That's a good brother than I. Yes, please find them. Yeah, uh, and she will. Her eyes will kind of flutter again, and she will almost go back into the half-sleep state that she is in. Uh, yeah, and Rory would uh, stand up and turn to the party, uh, particularly to Lenore, uh, and will say, Right, same fate kept us with someone of someone of, uh, sneakier talents. You got a plan? I mean, I would have to see the actual they are good are they um can easier someone from the uh keep tell me more about the layout or is there um some type of blueprint maybe um any weaknesses that we can possibly break in uh and uh, Ilar will come over to you. And I, I do not know that about any weaknesses uh, per se. Um, it is an older keep. Uh, 
So perhaps you could find some loose stone, but to my knowledge, the only entrance, uh, you know, it is built to be quite defensible. Uh, the only entrance is the, the sky's ascend. That's not really an option anymore, is it? So we find a new way. Any fabled, uh, any fabled secret entrances, perhaps? Uh, not that I would know of, or her, or have ever heard of. <laughs> I have, you know, uh, been around for quite a while. Uh, I am actually the first of first of my order here uh, that resettled the keep, but I do not know of any secret entrance. I am so sorry. Nothing to apologize for. Um, we will be here. Uh, honestly, uh, from what I've heard, uh, Silent uh, sounds a lot like me when I was younger. Um, we'll do our best to get both of them back. Of course. Um, so, we'll be just heading off then. Uh, Fivin will turn to you. Uh, yes, if you don't mind, I I would like to stay here uh, with Leah, and uh, I do not know if there are uh, more orcs to be fought, uh, but I would not like to leave her or Alar in their current states uh, undefended. Of course, um, we'll see if we can't uh, talk the orcs into leaving, look at their wounds and all that. Right, of course. Uh, just leave. Yeah. And he'll just kind of <laughs> look at you strangely. Uh, well, um, it, with the map that I gave that one, uh, you should be able to just head uh, pretty directly north from here. Um, uh, and and in fact, uh, you know, uh, let, me, let me go ahead and mark uh, what I do know of the area on the map. And this is going to be one good table. And I'm just going to give you the revealed... Names on the map. So hold on just a second. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, this is a very let good, me good pull table. it up. Thanks, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do. Thanks, Dan. Are you winning, sons? <laughs> <laughs> let me find it here. We don't know yet. Seven That's... sons until Saturday. Oh, we're six. We're the the six chitlins. I don't know. Hmm. No, there are seven of us. We got Rumble. Okay. Uh, let me upload that. All right. Can we get like a a Legend of Zelda like da 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 da. <laughs> you found the map. Um, I will. I will refrain. So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, he will be. He will tell you. Uh, Raven Glade Keep here is in the middle, of course. Uh, in the wood, and then uh, there's the ruins of uh, Villar uh, to the north. I, I, I have not been there in many years. Uh, there may be uh, items of uh, a useful nature there. Of course, it used to be a, a quite a vast uh, werewolf city. Um, uh, and you may be able to find some use there or even uh, stage your attack from, from there. Um, and of course, there is a, a druid uh, in the in the forest. Uh, she keeps mainly to herself, but I know she uh, dabbles in in magics and could perhaps uh, give you some wards or, or or something of that nature before you. Is that Marla on this map? Yeah, I believe her name is Marla. Yes, and I've written it here on the map for you. Well, thank you very much. Of course. Uh, if once, we're gonna be gone, once for I, uh, uh, I'm able to 
get these two maybe more uh, on the road to healing, I, I hopefully I can perhaps join you at the keep. All right, oh, so go get supplies. Should... Oh, sorry, you're going to say something. Yeah, no, Ulrich, I think we have the right idea. Get some some supplies. Head out to this Marlers. Give a fair warning, right? Dragging and dragging about. Help her. At least skedaddle. Hey, same brain. Away. Right, but thinkers, Ulrich. Best thinkers. Yeah. Think of things. So, so, so we know about uh, the. Locks as well as uh, the waterfalls. Is there anything else uh, about the land that we should uh, keep an eye out for? You might have picked up there was a dragon. Yeah, that is wrong, but. It, it wasn't on your list, this one. You are correct. Alright, let's, uh, let's see here. Uh, yes. I'm gonna mark off another good table, though. As Elar is going to come over uh, before you guys leave and just uh, tell you a few things. Mm. Uh, there is a fey spirit that lives within the woods. Um, and he will walk over to Leah uh really quickly and you'll see her uh, see him remove something from her neck and she will look at him and, and tiredly nod and then he will return to you um and he will hand you uh a necklace hmm. and he will say uh should you encounter uh the face spirit Please just show this pendant, and also, should Fain or Sillin question who you are, they will know uh, this is Leah's necklace. They have the two matching necklaces. May I ask what kind of fae spirit it is? We've had a, I've had uh, a few issues of run-ins with fae. Yes, it appears as a small uh, ghostly fox with three tails. <sighs> mm, Kitsune. <laughs> Interesting. Those are not very common. Uh, it has been in the wood for as long as I have known. It protects this wood and, and keeps it safe. Uh, for just as long as the Pianthus bloodline has been here, so has it. Well, let's keep it around then, shall we? Yes. Yeah, Lenore will uh, thank them for uh, the pendant. And I actually have a necklace on today, so this is very nice. <laughs> um, and yeah, just put it around her neck for safekeeping. And, yeah, be ready. Also, Sarah, for your notes, uh, if you click on the text at the top of the handouts, it will show you the associated text for spelling purposes and things. Beyond this? Okay. Beyond this, yes. We're down to five good tables left. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Right, so, let's get, get moving. Looking at the map, we essentially have to go north, uh, like almost a straight north to get to the keep. Yep. A slight variation of a north north east. Directions are hard. To the ruins, or a north westerly direction for Mala. We should move to the cottage first. It will take us a few team. extra days. Well, you're gonna have to take a few extra days either way. Um, Get these folk healed up. Alar, thank you, Mr. Rogers, for another good tale. Alar, <laughs> uh, after kneeling next to Leah, will uh, nod as she kind of whispers something, uh, and then stand and walk over to you. 
and he will unsheath his sword and hold it out and say, uh, please uh, take this with you uh, so that you may have uh, some form of protection. You seem well outfitted, but I would feel, I and, and Leah would feel much better if you took my sword. Uh, and you guys now sword. have Moon Petal. So who is who is you in this scenario? Yeah, I assume it's Ulrich. Mm -hmm. It's gonna oh. be Ulrich. Oh no! Since Ulrich, I assume is the only person here who can use a long sword. Uh, you technically can too. I can, but it's not my style. Well, then whoever reaches out to him, I'll, I'll, I'm, if he's take, um, he's handing it to me. I'm taking. I got. It. Yeah, you go for it. I mean, you look the most like armored and swordly. So oh I think God. you would be his first choice. Hey, uh, you really want that? It's a plus two. It's his sword. Are you sure you'll be able to go out without it? You can return it to me when you have found the children. Deal. Um. Okay. There you go, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so you know, now have Moon Petal, and you can just go ahead and add it to your sheet, but look, looking up a plus two longsword. Okay. I assume you guys are continuing on? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you will, let me... Um... The Carla will go up to Shauncey. Mm -hmm. Shauncey, you seem to be so well versed in finding the local flora. I actually have a few things I'm looking for. If you would, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye out for them. Oh, what you are, sir, do what I can. Oh, you. <laughs> this is by no means a real request. This is, if you're looking around, if you see any knight's fig, buck brush, starflower, or thyme. I know what those are, and I will find them. Here, and you like tug on your like, you know, the, the like the thigh of your trousers, and be like, "Here, sir, I couldn't help but notice everyone's talking about dragons for some reason." I, yes. I feel, you lot, you lot are off playing fantasy fairy tales all day. You're probably a little bit addled, but um, I just wondered, what, 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 what's what's going on here? <laughs> well, this is a. This is new to me, too. I don't think I've ever done any more than read about the mysticalness of that are dragons. They're still not super well versed in the text, but I'd rather rather not have to deal with it, if I'm being quite honest. Well, of course, because well, dragons aren't real, obviously, as we all know. Oh, They're no. just stories oh, you totally no. get to go to bed. <laughs> You know, usually you'd be correct, but uh, unfortunately, through everything that I've had to um, see in my times, they're incredibly real and incredibly dangerous. But but and 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 that would it's okay. It's okay. Everything everything's fine. Time was it? Okay, right. Where's my? I'll have a look over here. Um. Okay, uh, roll a nature or survival, uh, for me, Chauncey. Okie dokie. As, uh, let's see here. At the 15. All right. Stretching out before you is the home of the wounded elves, the wood of sharp teeth. As if the name alone is not ominous enough, the twisting roots of swamp oaks and trailing limbs of black willows make the forest impenetrable. Uh, worse still, you know that a dragon resides within. However, as you look about, you are able to find a few uh, star flowers, as well as some buckbrush. Here we go. There's a nice little crop down here. and. <laughs> That looks like a tasty one for me. (laughs) 
All right, and I am going to do oh, not that one. Um, sorry, I'm slow. What what did he find? Uh, he found a new star and flower and flower. buck brush. Thank you. So as you guys are continuing, you guys have quite a few miles to go. If you look at that map, each of those hexes is 10 miles. If uh, you... Would... Oh, oh, go for it. I was just going to say, um, if you are uh, just going at a normal pace of travel, you'll be able to get about 10 miles in per day. If you are going at a fast pace, uh, you will take a negative five penalty to your perception, uh, but you'll have a 50% chance of moving an additional 10 miles that day. I'm sorry, uh, DM. Are you saying that the pure physical powers of the Himbo Squad can only go at 10 miles a day? <laughs> With thick well, listen, bush. you Just can us. hurry it up, but you won't be keeping an eye out on the forest as much. Hey, Ulrich, if it was just us, we can move a bit faster, mate, but we keep you leaving our friends behind. Three times as fast. Yeah. Um, if you want to move slower, you can be stealthy, uh, but you might not actually get the full 10 miles. Uh, you guys, my... I my vote as a player is that we just go normal pace because I think while we do want to get there quickly, we want to get there. And if we miss something, we might die. So mm -hmm. I feel like just a normal pace, though it's it, Rory is like, when we like camp at night, he is clearly like physically aggravated, kind of uh, prowling around a bit like a caged animal, uh, always kind of looking into the woods a little bit further uh, and visibly upset at the lack of progress but he doesn't try to push anybody along faster than they can go. Ulrich, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. Uh, Ulrich will have been uh, moving along and kind of making a game of it, uh, moving through and jumping over and, you know, parkouring off of uh, vines and such, and, you know, trying to climb a tree to get some vantage every once in a while and <laughs> just having a good time. Uh, especially if, you know, the slower members of the group, they'll like, help him over things and, you know, boost someone up over something. Just the smile hasn't left his face. He's gonna fight a dragon. <laughs> yeah, just as we're moving, you know, the same list that I gave to Shauncey, verbally. Um, keep like while I'm kind of looking through these thick ass woods, oh trying to find them myself. Um, yeah. You're getting tables God. like crazy. So many. <laughs> uh, DM, while you do that, uh, Rory would kind of. Luke's been really quiet. Uh, and I think one of these evenings, Rory would have oh kind of slumped down with like a frustrated grumble uh, next to Luke. Raw, right, it can bring skeletons back. Can you. I, Part for us, make it so we can get there faster. I wish. This underbrush is killing me. I'm breaking out into hives. <clears throat> Roy, uh, I understand you and Ulrich wanting to get there as fast as possible. Uh, I appreciate you taking a step back and doing what's best for the group, but I do have to say. Ulrich's insistence on fighting this dragon bothers me. You never fought a dragon before? Uh, Can't not, imagine that I'd win. Not that I'm I can honest. call either. Um, uh, I do think we might be a little <laughs> underprepared for an adult dragon. Um, Right. Listen, Luke. 
we're meant to face this dragon here and now, it'll be that way. There's not much we can do about it. So we best prepare just in case. <laughs> I'm afraid that might get us killed, Roy. It's not so bad. You can give it a try. <laughs> You say, that be now. Quick. you say it now, but I can only bring you back one way, and I don't think you're going to like it. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, I'm going to tell you something real quick. Uh, don't bring me back, mate. Not now, not ever. Well, I would never turn you into a zombie. Or no, I, no I, I... You misunderstand. All you... Don't bring me back. Ever. Understood. Thanks. Anyway, um, I've been playing the quiet game with Ulrich for the last 14 hours, and I think he still thinks we're playing. So just, this conversation never happened. Can I make a perception check? <laughs> yep, you can. Fuck yeah, I'm about to win this game. Oh, 23. Damn, can I make a stealth check? <laughs> You're talking. I heard that. I win, you bastard. Wait, can I make a stealth check? Come on. Uh... Are you attempting to be quiet? Are you attempting to be quiet after you notice Ulrich looking around? <laughs> I feel like it, the the mention of the quiet game would have been in a hushed tone. I don't know about the rest of the conversation, so no, I guess not. Hmm. I got you, you bastard. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you guys still playing that weird game? Uh, Rory will lean into Luke and whisper... Carefully, right? You need to fucking convince Tyler to play the game. That's what you fucking need to do. That would be a mighty victory. Yes. Okay. We'll get right on that. Hold well, on, I got a roll to see who this cursed item Me. of Mr. Rogers is going to. Oh, curse! Shit, I don't want cursed. <laughs> Give it to me. One. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> it's Sarah. <laughs> uh oh. Right. Here for me. Um, Rory. Yeah. A raven is going to fly overhead. It appears to have something shiny in its beak. Uh, however, as it flies ahead directly above you, it drops the ring. It'll squawk frustratedly and hop up and down on a branch nearby. Um, however, the chances of this dropping literally right into your lap seem like fate. And so you want to pick up that ring and put it on. Yep, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he would. It's a ring of vertigo. The first time you put it on, nothing happens. When the ring is removed, however, you feel as if gravity is pulling you slightly to the side instead of straight down. This will cause you to become dizzy, stumble, and lose your balance every time you move. Uh, and then you will roll a d6 when the ring is removed, and for every movement initiated while the ring is off, on a 1, you vomit and cannot perform any other actions for one turn. On a two, you fall prone. On a three, you stumble and lose your next bonus action. On a four, five, or six, you resist the effects. When you put the ring back on, you feel normal again, but can only move at half speed while wearing it. Getting rid of the ring does not remove the vertigo curse. So so my under so the first I put it on, so long as uh -huh. I don't take it off and put it back on, I'm fine. That's how I'm reading this. Mm-hmm. It's okay, those yeah. Balance bracelets that are always pretending work on the internet. Yeah, I mean Rory would Rory would kind of look at it, uh, seemingly thinking it's fate. He would slip it on and he wouldn't think twice about it. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to post that in show discussions in the Discord for anyone that wants to read the text. Um, and then anyone got a count for me on on good tables? Yeah, I put it in. It's 11 good and one bad at the moment. 11 good after the ones I've done? <clears throat> you've yeah. done two. You've done two. So you've mm -hmm. got nine left. Okay. I know because Saito no. gave six. Oh, and really? There were more. Shit. Well, there was <laughs> one from Cole and then 12 yeah. from Mr. Saito. There's a total of 13. We've done two. Also, the bad table was for the cursed magical items. So there's yeah, no turning. So we got two item. magic items, oh. and Mr. Rogers turned one of them into a cursed magic item with the bad oh, table. Oh, that's not cash money of you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right. As it should be. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. You know what? I'm not going to roll for who this goes to because it just fits too well. The other magical item is a heavy cast iron frying pan with magical runes on the handle that never overcooks or b burns food placed into it. Oh my God. Perfection. Uh, Chef's kiss. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that. Amazing. Perk, are you turk praising so right now? I'm always turk praising. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh Praise the sun. <laughs> it was fated on you this day would come. You'd never let me down. <laughs> I'll become the cook I've always destined to be. Oh, you cook. Oh, from Wait. time to time, if it's so needed, sir. You don't need no he cooks. He's making all the really good food at the hideout. Who do you, you think he, he didn't you? even know he was Where here earlier? Think? What do you mean? What do you think all those lovely lumpies have been coming from? Yeah. Oh, no. you know, lumpies. Lumpies. What's a lumpy? It's, it's oh, it's like... my specialty, sir. I can make you one up right now if you wish. Oh, yes. Can we get some well, lumpies? Why not? Everyone should take right a lumpy. You are, sir. Right, you are. Wait, is it? Where hey, is it? Rick, there you can we go. One? No, you'll like it. It's good. Is it doesn't, it doesn't cherry? It doesn't taste lovely... like cherries. It of tastes like lumpies. Cherries, cherries are special. Here's a rounded cherry lumpies. Oh, no, no, no. Shauncey, Shauncey, you're not going to want to give Rory any cherries. He really doesn't like them. Right. Is there any other? No, it's fine. He would love it. I promise you. Um, I'm pretty sure Rory would rather dissipate die. into the nothingness than um, another I'd cherry. rather die. Shawncey, die. Shawncey, Shawncey will hold out in two hands because they're only little. Um, uh, like a, a, a big flagon of cherry lumpy to Rory and it will look up at him and be like, here you are, sir. I prepared this one just for you. As the Me. smell of cherries like hits uh, Rory's like face, you'll see his like green will kind of like go a shade paler as he just, I know, Chauncey, don't take it Please, personal. Please, sir. Mind, it's my, my personal specialty. Oh, come on, if... Rory, be brave. I oh. fuck you, Ulrich. I'm not. Hey, it's not got hey, nothing hey, to do with hey, being brave. Steve. Right. Well, I guess I'll just leave it here in case you change your mind. Oh, I'll have Rory. It if you want. Rory, what's your favorite food? My favorite. Uh huh. Bit weird. Yeah, you gonna magic this, huh? Uh huh. You're gonna be able to magic the burps that happen later. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> hmm? What's your favorite food? Something my mom would make. I don't think you've ever heard of it. Try me. It's no apple. The sweet. Snow apple. I don't think Luke has any idea what a snow apple tastes like. Uh, and it's like a dessert okay, dish that? that his mom would make. Mm -hmm. it... uh, but he is going to do his absolute best to imitate whatever pops into his head of that. So it's basically just going to be like a sweet uh, like apple pie with uh, like powdered sugar and um, whatever other 
imitation snow sugar he can put on there. And he's going to turn around, wave his hand, and it's going to appear. And he's going to turn back around to glory here. It's probably not the same, but... <laughs> Rory's face. <Yeah. laughs> this seems highly unnecessary. Are you, what do you I'm... say, though? Curious. And he will take a single bite of this food. And seeing that it doesn't taste like cherries, he'll pause for a second. And he'll look at Luke. Not even fucking close, mate. What the fuck is this? It's apple. I said, yeah. Thank you, though. Hey, Chauncey. You drinking my lumpies? Yeah. Oh, I knew you'd enjoy it, sir. I knew you would. Uh, yeah. Hey, crew. Um. At the edge of uh, a small clearing that you guys walk through, you are going to see uh, a pack of wolves mm. uh, led by quite a larger wolf that seems to be kind of almost hulking on two feet. Um, and uh, they will look like they are beginning to advance towards you. Until they see Lenore and the pendant. Oh. And then you will see all of them just kind of sit down as if told the command to sit and appear to be waiting and they'll go oh. and seem to be awaiting your response. Oh, uh, bonsoir. Um, uh, I'm Lenore. Uh, Can can you talk? Uh, and they'll just kind of look and and then begin to move off into the forest, ignoring you. You talk to him. The pause. That was odd. Yeah, they did not say anything back, but that was very. Doesn't matter. But apparently, this works. Who is navigating? Uh, probably Tarla, since he has the map. Okay. <laughs> Fear. Roll a survival check for me. Do I have to? <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I will add my plus two from Dev earlier. Make that a sixteen. Okay. Uh, the eerie woods fill you with a sense of doom, as if the hidden denizens are watching you secretly. The trees are gnarled and twisted, casting strange shadows across the forest floor. They grasp at you as you walk by, ripping your clothes and scratching your skin. The howls of wolves ring through the woods, as well as the near-constant creaking and moaning of the woods themselves. Although light does penetrate through the thick canopy, the thin shafts of light do little to illuminate the umbral woodland. And you guys are able to travel another day. Just like the entire time, like a little bit of not cursing, but cursing as like all these tears came, like Tyler just kind of waves his hands over some of his clothing, just cast mending just over and over as they keep tearing and just keep angering him a little more each time all right and are you if you're looking at the map are you hoping to just keep going north until like you hit the the base of that river or what it sounds like is the plan was to go to the cottage. yeah pretty much to the mouth of that river and then probably follow into the forest some to go to marla's cottage mm, okay very good. At least that uh, way we might be able to have some semblance of what's going on, even though 
You won't be able to probably see the keep unless it's way high up. Okay. Um, then before we continue our travel, uh, go ahead and roll three more checks for me. Survival Ew. checks. Are those for different days? Yep. Okay, I only asked because spells come back if need be. All right. First one, an 18. Okay. And then a 16. Okay. And finally, an 18. I'm really good at this. All right. Uh, you are able to actually <laughs> successfully navigate in the direction you would like, uh, despite the fact that this forest seems to lend itself to uh, confusing the navigator. Um, especially since it's almost impossible to see the sun through the trees. It's really hard to kind of figure out which direction you're actually headed. Uh, but you are successfully able to travel three more days through this thick wood um, without further incident. And then let's go ahead and take a bit of a break. Thank the gods for fiving. <laughs> yeah. Well, and good tables for that. Uh, revealed map. Um, Praise to Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Praise to Cole. All right. Uh, break, and then we'll be right back. Looks very scary. Is carefully munching on things. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Even Hi. the darkness needs a snack. <laughs> so that's what that feels like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cold open. Okay. So uh, here's the thing. You guys are sleeping. Why? During camp. Uh, and I need to know everyone's passive perception, please. 15. Not great. Uh, 12. <laughs> 12. 11. 13. Uh, 11. All right. Uh, everyone 15 and above. A cheeky howl of glee awakens you from your sleep. Mm. Mm. You blurrily open your eyes just in time to see a phantasmal blue fox bounding away into the undergrowth. It has three tails and is trailed by blooming flowers and falling blossoms. What in the nine circles? Holy... That's cool ass art though. 10 out of 10. As it pads between the undergrowth, you come back to your senses and realize the mischievous fae being has something familiar in its paws. Mm. Before you can react, it picks it up and b bolts away, uh, holding Moon Petal, the sword. In its mouth. That son of a bitch! That's that's not my sword. Those of you awake um, um, can have the opportunity to wake the others or chase the ghostly fox. Uh, shit. Um, wake up the monk. Wake up the monk. Wake up the monk. I know, but <laughs> Lenore has the necklace, so Charlie's yeah. going straight for Lenore first. Lenore! Lenore will wake up. Oh my god, I need that necklace of yours. Wait, wait, wait. Why? That godforsaken fox that they were talking about had just stole Ulrich's sword. That he was that. That is not good. Um, let's let's just go. Like, uh, she's she ready to run. Like a she chance, can Because Chauncey's like, the other one that could see. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> and roll a uh, dex for me. Uh, me. Mm -hmm. As oh, you're attempting okay. to chase it. All right. Um, let me do that. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> okay. Why do digital dice hate me. <laughs> you are absolutely gonna chase after it, but it seems to just keep slightly out of your reach. Dropping the sword for a second, bounding about. And then picking it back up and leaping away again. 
weaving in and out of the underbrush. Is anyone else doing anything? The rest of us are- Did you wake up Rory? <laughs> uh, I was I was giving Chauncey a chance to see if he was gonna wake anybody up. They will just sit there staring in wonder at this blue fox <laughs> burgling about the place and you're just- <laughs> um, if I have the, if it's the next turn, then I would probably go for Rory, knowing full and out well this motherfucker is fast as fuck, boy. Rory, Rory, please wake up! Oh my god! Yeah. There's that. What's I been? That fox that uh, Fiven told us about. It's running away with Ulrich's borrowed sword. Fucking hell! Which way? That way, and he'll just like point, like trying. Uh, do It'll I hear you box? yelling and actually come and bound back towards what? you. Hopping around a little bit and then running again. Lenore, wait, show wait, us wait, that wait. damned pendant. I can't. Like, she's holding it out at this point. Uh, <laughs> gonna be sprinkling gonna... like bits of wait, bread wait, wait. and like food yeah, is... around the place. Come Rory's on, lads. Gonna see that it's kind of like being playful with the sword, uh, and see Lenore. And... Hey, Lenore, and kind of put his hands out to have her like toss it to him. Or I, oh. does it does it respond to me like showing that at all or no? It's paying no mind to that. Roll oh, an insight check for me. Oh, okay. Tarlo, can Tarlo give Ulrich or er, Rory inspiration? Bardic. Oh, okay. Um, do I use? Oh, I'm not gonna use my advantage yet. We're just gonna see what happens. That's a natural one. <laughs> That's a 23 for Rory, using one of my plus twos. Thanks, chat. <laughs> Rory, uh, you're pretty confident that the fox knows exactly uh, who has the pendant and that you guys have the pendant. Um, and it, it's not a deterrent to playing around with you. Right. Oh, it just uh, wants to play fetch. So he's going to, he's, is it like... Just kind of on the skirts it's of the running. trees. Right now, it's almost like it's acting as if it's giving you a chance to wake up. Right. Uh, Rory will kind of stand up and brush off his his breeches and kind of like look at it. Uh, and he'll it's going to put its like... paws and head down low. Uh, yeah. And then like just sit there ready for you. And then it's going to turn to the side and just take off through the woods. Rory's going to sprint after it. All right. As fast as he can. Okay. You got uh, it, Rory. You put on a burst of speed. Monk. I'm not going to make you roll. <laughs> uh, and manage to catch up with the impish fox. As you near, you leap forward on the creature to pin it to the forest floor. But just as your arms close around the creature, it vanishes, leaving you sprawling in a burst of fragrant blossoms, clutching the stolen treasure. Um, and then you hear a coy yip from across the woods. Looking over in that direction, you see the fox, tails wagging, and it will nuzzle at a bundle on the ground. It pushes the parcel gently and then looks you dead in the eye before disappearing again in a puff of petals. Rory will kind of mutter under his breath. Yes, right. Unsportsmanlike, but all right. <clears throat> And he'll move over to the bundle and kind of look at it, kind of moving the leaves back. Uh, what does he find? Yeah, so uh, you approach the site and uh, there's the parcel there among the leaves. And as you unwrap the bundle, it reveals a cache of weapons made from wood, stone, and living plants. These weapons match Anonymous those that all of you normally use, save for the unusual materials and sylvan imagery. And these image or these uh, weapons all count as plus one weapons. Uh, and and to give you an idea of like one of them, like here's what one of the bows would look like. 
Gotcha. Yeah, he would uh, kind of give them an eye and recognizing, I think what would tip him off is probably like his own staff and Ulrich's sword and stuff. He'd give them a go over and he'd fold them back up in a bundle, making sure to grab Moon Petal. Uh, and he would look off in the direction uh, of the fox uh, and give a short bow. I rot. Nice rice. Let's do it again sometime. Uh, and he'll begin to quietly pad back uh, to the camp with this bundle uh, in his arms. I love everyone pretending to be asleep. It's the best. <laughs> Um, also, Isabel, hello! Um, bed table. Oh boy, another one. (laughs) Luke rolls over and slaps Ulrich in his sleep. Ow. Mm. (laughs) Harder. Uh, What? What? (laughs) What? (laughs) No, bad spray bottle. Rory comes into the camp and sees Lenore and Tarlo kind of standing there. I'm assuming just waiting for him. And he'll oh. hold up the sword. Hey, got it. Uh, cheeky little bastard. Did you catch him? Uh, I did. He showed me these. And he'll kind of bring the weapons over. And as he's stepping into the camp, he'll nudge like at Ulrich with his, his <sighs> foot. Hey, Ulrich. Oh. Remember I... how you were telling me that stale beats wood every time? Get yeah. a lot of this. Oh, you carved that, did you? Nah, I found it. Uh, oh, that's a weird branch, isn't it? Tarlo will peer at it, and you'll see his eyes kind of shift in color as he cast a tech magic, because Fey, spirit, giving things, doesn't sound super to him at first. Okay. Like, oh, those well, are. Well, immediately all of those weapons are going to ping. Oh, oh, whoa. Those. It gave you those, Rory. Hey, I think it's a bit of a game. Wanted to. That's to earn it a bit, huh? Interesting, because those are quite uh, magical. I figured it was a magic blue fox that explodes into bits of petals. Showed me. It exploded? Didn't... Yes. Where did Moon Petal go? Interesting. Oh, right here. Maybe sleep with it under your mat next time. Fox took it. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Yeah, How it did... stole your sword, Ulrich. Oh, why didn't no one wake me up? Well, I was more worried with Lenore telling, uh, with you know, the necklace being able to deter it, and Rory's quite a bit faster than you, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Tyler. he's sure in short distances. I, got in the I think Rory's Connor? faster than you in any distance. Oh, fuck off. Rory. He tighters <laughs> out. What What did the fox say? Hey? Uh, what do you mean? Say anything? Lightning. It's the fucking fox. Blue. Strikes down out of the sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's slick. laughs> huh. Okay, um, um Tarla, roll an arcana check for me. Arcana? Mm-hmm. 24. You would wager that these weapons, should you leave this forest, will just be sticks and branches. Hmm. Interesting. They're giving off an odd sense, those items you got, Rory. Seems... Yeah, it wasn't the fucking magical fox that gave it to me after I chased it down. Oh, was probably. That, is that the but, thing you know... that gave it away there, Talo? It was more the probably tied to this place. Hmm. Was it the fact that they're made of the wood that everything else here is made of? Well, I'm Would not a carpenter, that? so I don't know. Hmm. Fair. No, I'm a mason or... You've been skipping out on our lessons, I have noticed. Well, I'm so... You said you didn't really want me to watch or hang out with you, so I've just been doing it myself I, in my own time. It's not what I said at all. It's not what I said you, at all, mate. Well, you made it sound like that, and I wanted to give you your space. I appreciate that. So I apologize. So here's the magic work. I think because the the spirit seems to be tied here, and as you said, these items are probably made here. They probably only work here in the woods. I'd surmise. Understood. Let's make use of them then. 
they'd probably be very helpful if we have to end up fighting that forsaken dragon. I don't think there's anything forsaken about it. It's just it's a... a black dragon. Oh, Rick, I'll have to give you a few tips that I may have remembered from reading about them. It's Right, so they breathe poison and they're a dragon. Uh, they breathe acid. acid. Acid, right. So have that's you different. Felt, work in the forge. You felt fire on your skin, I'm sure, once or twice before an ember. Right, yeah, of course. Think about that, but you can't get rid of the ember. The burn stays there and it keeps going. It just eats away down to your bones. Sometimes it even eats your bones. You had that happen to you? No, it happens in the stories of people surviving these oh, attacks. Oh, right. so, so people live? Rarely. They live, though. You're not wrong, and hopefully with our powers combined... Hopefully we won't even have to see this forsaken thing. We can just oh, no. get in we there. Got, we gotta take care of need, this. Those, it's it's ruining the children, forest. God's Come on. It will get save the kids, clear, tell this dragon to fuck off, and then we'll uh, have a good day of it. Sorry, it's still the middle of the night. Shouldn't we all go back to sleep? Probably. Should we set a watch? Maybe. Maybe keep an eye on things. Um... Right, I'll, I'll hold the sort tight don't worry <laughs> uh tarlo oh no go ahead and roll three more survival checks for me <laughs> uh can we could if i have proficiency in it can i give him advantage by helping yeah how are you helping uh, Luke is going to send Rumble out in front of them and uh, make sure that the, if there are any dangerous situations or whatnot, Rumble is the first one in. Okay. Ulrich is up with, uh, competing in a race with Rumble. So you have Ulrich as a crash test dummy as well. Um... Careful, Ulrich. You don't want to get shin splints again. Get fuck off. <laughs> yeah, shin, like he'll look over like Tyler look over to like get shin splints. Yeah. It's not true. I didn't have shin splints, I'm fine. Anyway, uh am I rolling an advantage? The boots aren't yeah, go ahead. Cool. What do you get, what do you get, what do you get, what do you get? <laughs> not great. Um <laughs> I got an eight. I rolled a two and a three, everybody. It's not great. Okay. Next Wait, day. A two and a three? I see a natural 20. Um, is that the Arcana? Super no, because duper... for the Arcana, he rolled a 14 and a 19. Right? Or am I reading this wrong? It came across super weird on my thing. It says Nan. Nan. Yeah, yeah we got a Nan. <laughs> Nan. Um, anyway, I'll just I'll just do my normal roll because I think I just clicked advantage and rolled twenty, and it's just being stupid dumb. Wow. Trash. Twelve. Okay. And then finally, a thirteen. Wow. I really. Effed myself by I'm really good at this. earlier. No. I surprised myself me. and then I didn't. This is your hubris. <laughs> <laughs> hey God, are you there? It's me, Tarlo. Got a quick question. Why? Uh Ulrich, I'm sending you your oh. bad table. <gasps> <gasps> that's that's fair. No, I love it. I love me a bad table. Is it shin splints? <laughs> it's probably shin splints. <laughs> it's only one though. After a few days of Ulrich and Rumble competing to be in first, Rumble would eventually give way and like attach himself to Ulrich's back and just like keep a, keep an eye out Yoda style mm. on top. I 100% I'll, I'll like like get onto a, a tall uh, root and do a flip. <laughs> Is Ravel I sure sent you, you the well bad table breakfast. so that you can know as well? Uh, <laughs> I've never seen that before. I think I write about something like this, but I don't think I want to anymore. 
What are all these dice? I'm not going to ask. God. Um, A natural one. Dude, I rolled freaking poop garbage. All right. You know what? That's fine. It's <laughs> not fine. Everything's not fine. So here's the thing. Oh, I'm echoing on someone's screen. <laughs> Uh, you leading the party all but stumble into a band of orcs arguing. Uh, ooh, they're arguing. What are they saying? Can I, can I literally swing in to this? Only if you sing George of the Jungle. Hold on. George, 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 George of the jungle. jungle. Yes, he can be. And, be. and then you gotta go, ah! Oh. <laughs> Make it tough to say, watch out for that tree! Like, can I just peek? Not like, Brendan Fraser. Hmm. <laughs> peek Brendan Fraser. Okay, uh, <laughs> anyways. Would you the like to himbo. try and listen? I know. Uh, would you like to try and listen, or are you swinging in? I Rory. Ulrich's a hundred percent swimming in, but if like the party can hear something before I do that, yeah, I Rory mean... would try and stop my mind. Tarlo Why? holding the map is gonna start hearing gruff voices and arguing stop. ahead of him. Um, you can hear kind of like two voices. Uh, one is a little deeper and more gruff sounding, and one is uh, a younger sounding. Uh, and the first one says, Foolish whelp, we must serve. We will be the army of the worm. Uh, and the second voice will reply with, You have grown dumb, old man, replies the younger voice. No child of Bogtru will kneel before the beast. I have seen the omens. You make a mistake. Um. Can I swing in is, at this point? Yeah, what God, are you guys I doing? You fucking don't. I, I land. Kind of see the orcs and in orcish, I will say, oh, hey there. Also good. Oh my. Tyler's okay. Oh my God. What is he doing? You will see. He's obeying Ulrich. He's making a friend. Can't you tell? Uh, a, a large friend. orc with rippling musculature and a missing ear that seems very fresh. Uh, and he has red crosses painted all over his body. And you will notice the other nine orcs also have similar paint on their body. And I'm going to show you him. Total. Mm-hmm. Uh, and arguing with him is a younger orc, still formidable with the red crosses painted across her form as well. Um, are we, where we are standing, is Tarlo able to see these markings and such? Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh, uh, not cool, but cool. Cool, cool, no doubt, no doubt. Um, Tarlo is going to snap and appear taller and look like them, but probably shorter. All of a seven foot tall orc looking, using a disguise self. Okay. Uh, hey. That is wonderful. However, Ulrich is already talking to them, having swung in from the trees. So, <laughs> y'all, uh, <laughs> so y'all are uh, attempting to fight that dragon, Nate? Right? Or ah. so they will both Thank you, turn to you and ready their weapons. Oh, the entire no. camp will do the same, and all seem fresh, fresh out of battle and a little on edge. And, uh, Grutok will look at you. We aim to serve the worm. It is her forest now. She has claimed it. That's not what she said. Um, can Tarlo brush in? Looking kind of like them? Uh, yeah. What's your plan, um, Tarlo? Uh, oh, oh yeah. this, this stupid, like, he'll speak in Orcish. This stupid human 
started uh, coming Oi. from the Great Worms area. Oi, wait a second. Where the fuck are you from? Uh, Onka will level out uh, her weapon at you. Speak your name. I do not recognize you. I am Urgrog. You do not remember? I do not, and this seems like a silly human trick. I think Human's too stupid to do this. She's Excuse going to, me. She's going to point at one of the other orcs standing in the thing. You think we do not have magic as well? And the orc with a bone and twine hanging off him will walk up, smile, and take on the appearance of Ulrich. <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Yo, he can do a thing. Wait, hey, I don't know who the fuck this is, but, uh... Rumble's just sniffing at Tarlo. Sorry. Look, I got I got some friends back there. We're here to, you know, figure out this dragon situation. Uh, if you want to help, that'd be grand. And if you want to also uh, maybe clear off, because we got a whole bunch of werewolves and wolves and shit that really don't like you here. And they seem Listen, pretty mean. Full of everybody, full I tried. Gurutak will hold up what, what is very clearly a silver great axe oh. and say, I do not care about any dogs sniffing about the forest. Right, we are here for the glory of the gods. Except you're fighting, oh, yes, you want to fight for the glory of the For glory of now. the great worm, of course. Yeah. And Onka oh. will uh, walk up and say, we will not be serving Duskbringer. They. I like you. At which point they're going to have a very tense moment looking between each other. Right. Uh, Onka, uh, I'll be honest, I'm kind of on your side in this. Also kind of want to tell the dragons to have a day off. Or maybe a week, month, year, rest of its life. Uh, want to help? Help what? We're gonna go probably kick it in the pants if we can. I do not wish to fight your battles for you. Oh, no, 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 no. You'd fight with us or after us. Or and just for like, what purpose? To fuck off a dragon. Like the stories. Freezing. Would it be fun? I really, you guys haven't all been thinking about it. Wouldn't it be a roll good time up to persuasion? Sure. Fools. When is well, the last time is... that was said in Harper's? Right. As that's happening, Rory's gonna look at the group and kind of shrug uh, and move uh, over to stand next to Orc Tarlo and kind of look at him. And as he moves past, he'll be like. Right, your tasks could use some work. They're not quite long enough, there, mate. Sorry, this is the first time. It's fine. <clears throat> He'll just kind of stand there. Ten. Can. <laughs> Can Rumble help? Can Rumble help? <laughs> nope. Damn it. So I figured. Ten. Okay. Uh... Perfect <laughs> middle of the line. Onka will look at you, uh, size up your comparatively small frame, oh. and and just look at the rest of you. No, I think it is best we return home to the Cloud Peaks. Oh, come on! You can't be running away just now. You know all the you know you got your black eye from the from the wolves and the inhabitants here. I mean, why not try and get some glory on the way out? She is going to step forward right in your face and say, no one is running away. We did not Sorry. come here for werewolves or dragons. And we have met both. We shall return home. And why, why did you come here? Yeah, I, what my friend said at the back of the camp there. Weak human. That would be none of your business. Leave this place. 
All right, but I mean, you got a bit of a schism here because it seems like one of you wants to take the knee. Uh, Roll an insight for check for me. Okay. Natural one. Oh, God. Yep. What are you doing, Rory? Uh, he's going to move up next to Ulrich, kind of putting a hand on his, you know, pauldron and turning to look at the group uh, and nodding his head in, like, deference, like, clearly giving the indication that he's here to discuss not threatening there's you know a, trying to show a sign of respect uh but recognizing that he knows nothing about them uh right uh the name is rory rory daywind i sounds like you have a plan to leave these woods which i appreciate uh is seems there's been a bit of kerfuffle between you and the locals right Yes. We were supposed to be staging an attack on Berigust. 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 I'm unfamiliar. I'm unfamiliar. E G O S T. Okay, sorry. We're seeing spell that again. B A E A R E. B E R E G O S T. Berigust. Well, that's a new name. Haven't heard of him yet. Is this, uh, is this man a danger, this person, rather, a danger to the people here? Which person? Or is it an enemy of your clan? Bergost is a village. We were getting ready to attack it. <laughs> to what end? Know. I, I, sorry. Rory. No, no, I haven't, haven't heard of that place, but yeah, to what end? To the changing of the seasons. Does this have something to do with a uh, setting sun? No. You do not know our ways. Some people farm some people hunt. We raid. We take from the weak. Who do not deserve it, or they would be able to keep it. It's so why and is your purpose, I understand. You're a part of a greater whole. You wish not to interfere. However, We're here to help keep balance. I assume you can appreciate that, yeah? Too much. Too much taking. You can kill a land for good and then there's no taking to be had ever again, yeah? That's this clever. is true. Uh, roll an insight for me, though. I will do that and I will use my remaining plus two. Twelve. Yikes. You'll notice that when she speaks, there is a lot of shuffling of feet from the rest of the group. But it would seem like the the remaining orcs here tend to side more with her uh, opponent there. Uh, okay. Uh, he'll register that. Uh... Uh, and he'll look at her meaningfully. Uh, it can be difficult being a part of a clan with two different identities. Yeah? Yes. It's hard to know. Hard to know what the right choice is. Not everybody agrees. And often you can feel like the only one. She's gonna do like one of those side glances uh, and then I do know what you mean. This dragon, if left here, 
will take. We'll ruin this land. There'll be no raids here ever again. Not because they were weak. It has nothing to do with it. Uh, Groot Talk will speak up and say, Does not the elves land anymore? Duskbringer killed them and took their keep. And right. we will serve her. And it will be our land. And now. he's going to start saying, All right, you. Like, you can go bend the knee if you want. Why don't you go take off all of them already? You've been sitting around here for. We were planning our, our next move. Your next move to go what? Go bow your head and hope the dragon don't bite it off. Yeah, you're going to go brave drop. move. A lot of planning involved in that. Right. He's going to start rolling his shoulder. Uh, I see. And just no, kind of tightening his grip on his axe. Uh, Rory will shoot a glance and say, you going to plan for Chauncey if this thing goes sideways? Huh? <laughs> of course. Chauncey's like looking out of a little bush in the corner where he's been like watching all of this from. He's like crept around and he's like looking out of a bush between the twigs at everyone like talking and this language that he barely understands. And he's just like, <laughs> is this where we start to have one of those fights you tell the stories in the bar about? Good luck, chaps. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> Chauncey will be fine. Don't worry. Um, Tarla uh, will. Good. Oh, go yeah, go for it. No. You're good. You're good. Fine. Uh, Tarla will drop the disguise self because obviously it's not helpful at this point. <clears throat> and like, well, of course you could try to bow, but it seems like that worm will have you as a little puddle in no time at all. I feel like you might be a little foolish to be bowing yourselves to an entity like that. Man, both of you just insulting this guy. I yep, think yep, it's yep. time to Less roll initiative. Less than uh, ideal. Because he this dude's is just going to uh, don't... swing forward his axe and then uh, emit a war cry to all of the orcs around him mm. that have just been shuffling their feet, adjusting their weapons, uh, and looking a little itchy. Um, if I'm being honest. So let's roll initiative as uh, you guys. I apologize. Continue to upset him. But the, we can't be a pacifist squad the entire time. It's not about pacifism, mate. It's about having a conversation. Oh, we were. Well, trying to talk him away from being also suicidal. Right. Yeah. Think. Listen, I'm going to come into your camp. I'm going to call you a fucking moron. And I'm going to be real moron. mean to you. <laughs> I didn't call him a moron. Neither I of us said he moron. wasn't very brave. We are the Harpers. We protect the meek. And these people kill, pillage, and take from them. Yeah. Like, I'm all for giving them a chance and all that. <gasps> Why the fuck is there... My what train! <laughs> I rolled the natural 20. What the nine? What, what the infinite the layers was that? Just happened! <laughs> and I roll a nat 20 and makes a train. It makes what? a literal Thomas the Train with a <laughs> fucking Grucho <laughs> glasses. The hell? I was given the option of customizing my dice rolls. You all have clearly Luca, got Luca, why did boundary. you give him this power? <laughs> I didn't I have, know that it could be powers. like that. No, I thought... I'm, I'm drunk on I, Wow, I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> that was fucking wild. I it's thought beautiful. like my brain had broken or something. <laughs> like I was hallucinating. I was having like an episode. I didn't know what was happening. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Purple, Does really? Thomas the dank engine? Yeah, he is the dank engine though. So this entire conversation happened in Orcish, right? Correct. Well, okay, yeah. then yeah. I've had no idea. I'm just like, oh yeah, they're. I mean, you would have right, definitely right? sensed the tension, uh, okay. both between the two uh, orcs, as well as like seeing the kind of like shuffling, like itching to fight energy from the surrounding uh, orcs. Oh my god, purple. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas the dank engine. 
It is, though. I called him out on it. He's like, what did you want me to call it? <laughs> it's Chat, beautiful let me know if the it. combat music gets too loud. <clears throat> oh, let's fight some orcs. <sighs> Garus Nardis! <laughs> orc, orc, orc. Orc, orc, orc. Garus Nardis. Uh, yeah, Ulrich's gonna, as soon as this guy starts to try and swing, he's gonna quickly unsheath Moon Petal and just try to slash across his chest quick. Okay. Um, that's gonna be... Oh, there we go. Uh, 27. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. Okay. Uh, for 10 slashing damage. Okay. And then, uh... Coming up quick, he is going to slash right back down again. Oh, I should probably just. Uh, for a 19 dip. Yeah, that'll hit. For another 10? Yeah. Um, here's the, the thing. These orcs are fresh out of battle. They were still recovering. <laughs> Not all of them are at full HP. Can I, like, as he goes to draw, just, like, in a single swipe, Samurai kind of walk through him? Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, he's, finish he's on the other side? He's gonna go down. Of the leader? <sighs> the leader just went down. I oh, mean, he was fun. heavily bandaged and missing an ear. He looked messed up when you oh, guys got just... into this fight. Ulrich's just gonna kind of be like twirling the sword around, look at that, and look at it, like swipe off the last bit of blood still hanging on it. And anyone else? Come on! You wanted to bend the knee. Rory's gonna look at the uh, Onka and just say, "Just in orc, please, don't do it." She's gonna kind of side glance at the others, um, and then look back at. Rory and go to attack. Ah, shit. That's nah, fair. Uh, and yeah, she's gonna attack you. Let's um. see here. I'm in a cutting words, her. As a reaction? Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna take a neg minus d6 to your attack roll. Mm. Then she it won't hit. Won't even come close. Okay. She flies up and catches it. Really? Didn't want to fight you. She's kind of trying to take out the cowards here. Yeah. You had a good idea. I thought you said you were with us. I'm leaving. Uh. Okay. She will. As you cutting words her, she'll miss her attack. And just kind of uh, look up, and she's going to start to get kind of a strange uh, look of desperation in her eyes. She's kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. Um, and it is no longer her turn. Rory, it's your turn. Uh, Rory is going to move up uh, quickly to her, and he's going to try and disarm her weapon and try to like get her arm up around behind her and pull her away uh from Ulrich. Yeah, does anyone remember how disarm works? What do you got to roll for uh, that? It's a strength save on your part. It's a strength. Okay. I can't take and I, I, I just roll, the last so I roll time. a strength roll. Uh you have a you should have a DC. Athletic? It should be 8 plus your strength plus your proficiency. Is it a specific move that Rory can Disarming take? strike is a move. Right, but unless you have that, then it should be like yeah, a strength yeah. contest. Up to the DM. So I got really. an 18 on my save. So do I just roll like a athletic then? To see if I can uh, do I it? I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Nope. Uh, so he, right. and this makes sense. He narr she kind of like grips it hard and he's unable to do it. Uh, but he's going to then, uh, 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 oh gosh, he's so many things in here. Um, cause that would count as an action, right? He's going to take, yeah. 
So I have two attacks. Can I, right, can I take ahead. two actions? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, he's going to try, if he, recognizing he can't disarm her, he's going to just try and, uh, like, grapple her, I guess. Like, try to, like, overpower her to get her to, like, give up the fight. I guess right. it's strength again, yeah? Yeah, do strength again. It's a 16. Ooh. Oh, thank God. All right, you got All it right. grappled. Uh, and I'm going to take my movement uh, and pull her back towards the party uh, okay. in front of, of everyone and uh, just holding her and say, I don't fu just fucking let me help you. Uh, and he's going to call out uh, to the orc in the deepest, growliest voice that Rory can muster and say, uh, it's over. It's over. Lay down your arms. You saw he claimed him in twine. End it. And I'm happy to roll intimidation if necessary. Uh, or persuasion, go. Let's see if you beat off their... Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just beat That's off all the orcs. <laughs> hey, can you not? Garus Nardus! Garus Nardus! An 11! Uh, an 11 with his uh, Rogers plus 2. Thank uh, you, Mr. Rogers. Beats you, it, beats uh, it. And so there's going to be a strange um, like moment of tension. And then this one right up here at the front will actually uh, put his great axe back in. Uh, on his back and then just stand there with his arms at his side. Rory will call out in common. We don't need to fight here. If we're going to fight a fucking dragon, I'd rather not do it with injuries. I agree with that sentiment. Thank you. Hey, it's just this old fucker had to go. What? Uh, debatable. Oh, fuck off. He wanted to um, fight. She's gonna look at you and like with with you know being grappled and like mm -hmm. yeah he's gonna I'll let you go now but please can we just have a conversation I hate it but can we please just talk she's just gonna look at you and like kind of put up a hand uh, and then walk over and grab up a Grutok silvered great axe and just hold it in front of her. And look at her uh, little crew of orcs here and say, it is time to return to the Cloud Peaks. Um, and seeing that she's holding the axe and, and clearly the other guy is no longer in a position to have a say, uh, they will fall in line and sheath their weapons uh, and, and look ready to follow her. Aye. Is there anything you can tell us about it? The dragon. She will turn back to you. Um, yes. It frequently passes over the forest. Stick to under the trees. There's something strange about it. It is odd for a dragon like that to attempt to take more territory here. Rory. does not follow the normal patterns. <clears throat> Rory. Yeah. Can you ask this person here what direction the dragon flies to? Is it... How is it scouting? Is it looking for something? It seems to just be setting up its territory. Though why it has chosen this forest is unclear. It is clearly a dragon from the Forest of Worms. So you don't know about this orb around its head? No, I, I have not fought the dragon. I know of no orb. Okay. Uh, 
uh, Rory will uh, give a, again, kind of look at uh, look at her and look at her men and nod and just say, be careful. Be difficult, being different. It's a pleasure Thank to meet you. you. He puts his hand out. She will put her hand out and just say thank you. Uh, and then uh, she will return uh, very clearly uh, done with you all um, and acting as if you are no longer there. She will return to the rest of her clan and begin shouting uh, commands and orders to begin packing up and readying themselves to leave. Right, so we're heading on, yeah? Yeah. Well, so is that is it? Is it for the tense, be like, um... Is it all finally over, sir? Did you beat them? <laughs> they were gone. Just an exasperated sigh. Holy hell's Rory, that was. No words. Explain how magnificent that was of you to completely just stop them all. Sorry, what? Sometimes brutality is needed. Other times diplomacy is just as effective. I feel like we have seen both of those options today. Hey, Thank you. whatever those words mean. Yeah, I had to cut down that fucker. Anyone disagree and you did with it that? Pretty well. Although a little bit cleaner next time. Alright. Yeah, pretty <clears throat> clean to me. Ulrich, I appreciated what you did. Thank you, Luke. And Lenar. Always good to hear positive feedback. Uh are they gonna be joining us for breakfast? No, I don't think so. I think they're heading home. Speaking of DM, mm -hmm. if we stick around for a little while, which we're having a conversation, so I'm assuming we're going to stay in here for a second at least. Um, is there a way I can score the way the body of Grutok? What? You can do whatever you would like. Well, I mean, what are they? Are, are the other orcs doing anything with his body? Yes, they are. They're preparing him to return home. However, if you would like to attempt to steal the corpse of their once chief, you may uh, attempt so. Yeah, I don't know what their their traditions, their, you know, they could be the type of people that just leave their dead or laying around when they're dead. They can't walk back. We leave them. Well, Breaks they might have a last rights thing. It's, it's pretty hostile uh, regime uh, check. Uh, roll a history check for me. You're like Barshendi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fine inspiration. <laughs> Luke, are you rolling a history? Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I was wondering, I was like, is it taking him an abnormal amount of time to roll that? Uh, 22. <laughs> uh, okay. You know that uh, Doom Spear orcs typically do carry their uh, dead back home to burn in a pyre, a ceremonial pyre. Uh, however, there is a group of wood elves who believe that their gods are dead, and so there is no afterlife. So once you die, you die. And they are known to leave their the bodies of their fallen just where they lay and not even really show remorse when they die. And this particular group, would I know the name of their society? The Tista Eater. Tista Eater. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
And that's an Easter egg for anyone that reads those books. <laughs> mm. I figured no spelling. I thought of it. Uh, I thought yeah. Of so. It was also the race of my very first ever D&D character because my DM set it in that world. Um, so. There, I put the spelling in chat for Thank you. Thank you. It's from the Malazan books of the Fallen. Anyways, uh, continuing on. Uh, we have some good tables to resolve, and I am not going to do all of them like we normally do. Uh, I am going to do some... I happen to have prepared a few things in case we got some good tables. So there oh will be things popping up here and there that you have the chance to acquire or interact with um that will count as the good tables and i've got them here i'm just gonna try and mark them off as we get to them <laughs> um but as you guys are walking through the forest tarlo roll another three checks for me to mm. see if you are able to navigate successfully oh shit double crits 25s nice um because of the crit, you're actually going to get six more days. You guys are able to speed through the forest. Uh, you find a few game trails that you can follow. Um, so your speed and pace increase rapidly. And uh, you walking relatively close to uh, the keep. You're going to see a large butte kind of rise out of the forest with That's huge cascading waterfalls coming down from it. And upon the top of one of these waterfalls, there seems to be an outcropping of rock that almost curves up and over uh, the crest of a waterfall upon which a keep is built. This is all seen from a distance, though, and just a peek through the trees. So I am not going to show you anything yet. Uh, that's just the best you can make out from this vantage point, are the details I've given you. Do I happen um, to... Oh, sorry. You do not happen to see any whirling, uh, darkened shapes in the sky. Oh, I was just asking if it was going to be on or around the near vicinity of the keep you I will here let me uh, show you kind of where about you guys are gonna be like right about there hmm Uh, and let me actually uh, do kind of a reveal of this whole area and turn off Fog of War. My eyes. I can, I can see. see. It's a miracle. I um, can fight. <laughs> uh, so you've made it kind of up there now. And as you continue walking through the forest... Uh, you are going to hear a voice. Curse you idiots! I told you we were lost. We should not have crossed the river. We have gone past the keep. What the frick frack snick snack is that? <laughs> and you're going to see a procession of kobolds. Fucking kobolds. <laughs> there um... appears to be a, a leader. Um, of the kobolds, uh, of the kobolds, and he is currently yelling at the procession, who are holding above them. Yes, what? Sorry, are they speaking in common? No, they're speaking hearing in that. I would probably cast comprehend languages then. They're speaking okay. in draconic. Yeah, they're speaking in the native language of kobolds. You'll As hear. They they'll hear these voices, and you'll just hear Rory go. Ah, fucking ill. 
Sorry. Uh, they, the, the group of kobolds uh, are holding aloft a battered old rowboat overflowing with gems and like copper mugs and just about anything shiny that these kobolds could apparently find. Oh, dear gods. So, uh, <laughs> what are they arguing about? Uh, the, the the leader appears to just be yelling random uh, commands to them. Uh, currently about the fact that they seem to have gotten lost. Um, I'm hold on just a second. And there's about... Here, let me just... Uh, Tarlo's too tall to look like a kobold. Damn it. <laughs> Have you watched Queen's then... Gambit? Well, it's Chaunce. just the fact of a five foot tall kobold be like, I am the biggest kobold. Chauncey's not. I, it's this just thyself. Self. I can't, yeah, I can't give it to someone else. If I could, I would. You must destroy the self. Um, uh, and I then think... you're going to hear him say, I told you we should not have crossed the river. We have gone past the keep. I'm telling you, we went the wrong way. We now have to go back towards home. And, and you, you, hold the boat higher, hold the boat higher. Black wings, riches should not touch the ground. We get the sky, soon, sun, the moon, the stars of Akashak to command. The queen. Uh, <laughs> uh, and this is the guy you are seeing uh, yelling uh, at all the other kobolds. Oh, oh. Mm. What is happening? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is the plan here? Uh, the match of we could just kobolds. leave them to their devices. Or I could try to look like them and try to talk them to go away. Hey. You never fucking met a kobold. Can't convince them of anything. You got shinies. It's the only way to raise them with a kobold. Uh, Tarlo will like, pull out a bag. Like, I got like this a lot of money. I'm sure they like that. And you'd because... waste it on kobolds. If it means oh. that they would go away and we don't have to deal with them, maybe we get some information. They are a lot of shinies themselves. Think we could take it? Uh, that's well, kind of stealing. It's kind of... How do you think those kobolds got that? Are you going to prove to me that the kobolds stole... Do kobolds are you, are make you things? Are you typing these kobolds right now? Just because they're kobolds, they just steal? Do kobolds make things? Yes. <gasps> uh, Luca, now that you n no longer have a sound gate, can you tell me what he yelled? Because <laughs> I got like <laughs> two snippets of it. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. He, he said, Curse you stupid fools! We went the wrong way! I am telling you, we got lost! We went across the river! We should not have gotten across the river! We have gone too far! keep we need to head back towards home we are lost we should not have come this way not cross the river i told you you fools i should not have uh, you you keep the boat higher hold the boat higher black wings richard should not touch the ground wing in the sky soon sun the moon and stars are for kashak to command get back in line hold the boat higher uh Rory would, Rory would, uh, now hearing that and understanding it. Rory, <laughs> taking it to the dragon? Are you sure? Hey. Are you sure? They said black wing and not dusk bringer. They're it's a black dragon, though. No? Yeah, it's black dragon, like Lenore said. Are you, again, like Ulrich, are you just gonna... So March, you, you want, cursed you fools! You want the March. dragon to have all its treasure so it can move in properly. You are not going fast enough! R Rory's not... I want to be very clear. Rory's just acting as interpreter and hating every second of it. Like, he's not grabbing for weapons. He's not, like, trying to pursue them. He is just relaying to the group, this is what these scrawny little homies are doing as hey. they, like, proceed to make off with the shit. Oh, so, Rory... Oh. Hold it higher! You are letting it tip! You! Rory, you! I what are you doing? I can't understand them. I can't, I can't speak that, but it seems like you can. 
I know it's not your favorite, but you might have to be the one to talk to them. Don't let oh. the shinies fall out. Lift up your side. Lift up Just your side. Tell them to. Oh, lazy fools. Why not? But I believe in you, and he's going to give you bardic inspiration. I hope the black wing eats you! Yeah, just like tell him to <sighs> fuck off in the wrong direction. Rory's going to move uh, through the woods and call out to them. Hello, kobolds. Who is this? And you will you will see him a little closer now. He actually seems like kind of an old kobold. He's very ancient, and there's even like a, a few very loose scales on his uh, on his chin, almost like uh, a kobold's version of a beard. He's like thirty. He's kind of hanging. He's like twelve. Well, they live to be about forty, but that's mostly due to crushing to death. Yo, who are you? You are Orc! Yes, Elder, I am Orc. You have shinies. Many shinies, not for you! Not for you! And he's going to pull out a wand. I have wand! Not for me, not my shinies. Where are you taking shinies? Shinies for Blackwing! Blackwing dragon. Yes! We will serve her! She will give us... Give us all the riches from her spoils. We will serve her. No more what? sitting around the ruins, being hungry, getting lost in this stupid forest. Why serve Blackwing and not Orc? Orcs are mean to tiny things. Blackwing, not she tiny. treat us good. Yeah. She let us tend to her shinies for her. She will bring us back dear. Why? Why Blackwing want smelly forest? I don't know. Maybe shiny things in keep. She did not want our ruins. Our ruins are gross and swampy. Where in the in forest of worms? Old ruins? No, no, north of keep! We are lost! This idiot told us to go across the river! And he's gonna come over and just kind of stab his wand into the one guy, like, just poking him over and again. This idiot's right here! Does look very dumb. Right. Very dumb! If, have, have, I have pen... Oh, sorry, it's a big word. I have... Cool to have friends. Friends? Does that mean anything to you? What is friends? You want my shinies? You cannot have my no, shinies. God, no there's a gosh shiny. shinies. No want shinies. No, don't. Hey, hey. And he's going to ignore you for a second and go over and yell and poke at one of the guys that's just kind of started like Rory's under the boat. Gonna look back at Tarlo and make eye contact and be like, and just you'll feel him like, I hate you for this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. As he turns back to the kobolds. We go now. We back go now! The shine. Yeah, you go now. Back home. We go now. Have fun with shinies. Uh, so many help. shinies! Yeah. Question. If one wanted to join Black Dragon, how would one do this? He's going to point at the boat. We collected all the shinies from the ruins. Lots of shinies. Dragons like shinies. Right. You sure you don't want to come with me, mate? You got any shinies? Uh, he will tap himself down. Uh, and in his pocket, he'll pull out a carving that he has been working on uh, over time. It's not quite finished and he'll look at it and hold it out. It looks like a Medusa. Hmm. I make these. Hi. Ah, drop the bot! Drop the bot! He's gonna go over and start digging through. 
I have a not very shiny. I will trade for your kind of shiny. All right. And he'll All move right. over to the boat. And he's going to pull out a big, thick book and just kind of hold it and reach for the Medusa carving, almost like he's like going to do the one of those handoffs, like he doesn't trust you to not yep. give him the... Yep. Rory will uh-huh. hold out the just open palm, let him take it, uh, and he'll take the book in exchange. <laughs> Fair deal? Good deal? Good deal! Kind of shiny for dumb, stupid, not shiny. Dumb, stupid, not shiny. My favorite. Have a good day. <laughs> He'll just turn around. Good day! And he's just gonna poke his wand at you. You go! Take all your big friends! I do know friends. Good on ya. Uh, and he'll move over to Tarlo and just put the book on his chest uh, and kind of tap it. Uh and then move quietly off to the side and he'll look at everyone else and taking the Shawnees to the dragon and righted the runes it seems they've wished to worship her in some way meanwhile he's back to screaming at them lift the barge you stupid fools lift lift higher higher on onward let's go march march we move on eh, is they will be here for some time and they will grow suspicious of why the fact we haven't lived yet with our dumb, stupid shiny. And he'll look oh. at, at Tarlo. Tarlo will like open the book and like, Rory, I am so sorry you had to deal with those. Uh, I would have dealt with them myself, but I don't know. Draconic that is a language you should pick up, mate. Yes, I'll have to talk to Mistral. Be like sifting through this book. What can I? Is there any like? What is it? It's written in uh, Sylvan. Hey, guess what? I super duper have. What? I have Sylvan as a language. Oh, okay. Uh, it seems to be a book about the history of the city of Velar. Uh, an ancient werewolf city. It's been in ruins since 720 DR. It was once a majestic place named after its uh, lycanthrope creator that contained a magic portal and a united werewolf nation. Salune ruined the city after the lycanthropes who lived there became too fond of war and turned to infighting. Uh, And then it is said that during 1434 DR, Valarkin the Warlock and deposed Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate arrived at Valar using dark magics. He bound to him an army of lycanthropes and led an attack against the nearby city of Baldur's Gate. Thankfully, the Shields of Keeping repelled the attack. Valarkin was defeated. The remaining lycanthropes attempted to rebuild Valar, but were haunted by the tenacious spirit of Valarkin, who eventually claimed the life of their leader and drove the remaining werewolves away. Oh. Oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. And he'll just tuck that a uh, not, not uh, out of character great thing into his pack. Oh god. Because I would think that at this point, any Harper would know of what happened 15 years ago. Like, what if I hope that's not happening again? Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, Rory, I... Oh, you... Four. Oh, what? Whatever you need, whatever you want, make it happen. 
Carlo goes into mob boss mode. Whatever you need, whatever you want, just make it happen. As long as not on this, the day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> leave, leave the gun. Take the cannoli. <laughs> and as you enter, you see a bowl of oranges. <laughs> make it happen. Um, went off where I can't refuse. <laughs> he goes, wake up to a horse's in this bed. What are the rest of you doing? That is a great question. <laughs> Getting well, ready to press we... on. Okay. Yeah. Same. Okay. <laughs> Let me pull back over to you guys. Did no one else have Tarlo. to roll, uh, uh, roll, roll, uh, more check. survival? Yeah, more survival checks for me. Hey. See how close you can get to the cottage. Not great. Not great. Uh, in fact, you are going to get a little turned around. Um, Fuck me. <laughs> Let's see. I need to... Um, and you are going to get the sense that you're being watched. And also that you've maybe seen this patch of trees before. Are they going to start throwing apples at me? <sighs> no. <laughs> okay, good. Um, uh, and she'll just like look up the map and just like, oh, ha, ha, ha. just turn it around. Whoops. Oh, nothing, nothing. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I think it's that trail over there. Mm -hmm. let, let us know if you need any help. Nope, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Hey, Mr. Always Go With The Team Effort. I'm sorry, what was that? You swung into a bunch of orcs? I solved that problem. Thank anyway. you Anyway. It's like a few days in the forest. And everybody just loses their mind. I'm going to tell you a secret there, Luke. Hmm. It's always like this. Uh, I see. Luke is going to do something very uncharacteristic uh, as he's noticed that we've lost our way. Uh, and he is going to uh, clap his hands together. Uh, and he, as he opens them, uh, Timor is going to appear. Uh, for the first time in months. After Luke has gotten control over his magic, he's been able to keep Timor away, which has been a blessing for him. Um. Upon you doing this, uh, right in the air in front of Tarlo, a cat-sized dragon with butterfly wings will materialize mm. as if it had been sitting there uh, invisible. Yes, and it crazy. will flit over to you with Timur in oh. your hands and it's kind of expressing its delight by the twitching of its tail looking at this bird that you have materialized out of thin air. Uh, Timur just kind of looks at it and then like goes to peck at it uh, and then just kind of like side looks. <laughs> He's just it's gonna angry. do like a similar kind of peck motion back at it. Just angry looks at this pseudo dragon. Oh, that's actually a fairy dragon, Luke. Looks like it wants to be friends. They're actually one of the better little dragons. They it's so cute. They it's are. They're cute. quite adorable. Although I'd be careful around it. What? Okay. Well, Timor, uh, it will stop bothering you if you do as I ask. Please fly up above the trees and find the correct way. We're trying to go north. Absolutely. Uh, as Timor does that, the fairy dragon is going to hop into your hands and kind of nuzzle in. 
and like look like it's trying to take over the spot of Timor. That is you're, awesome. You're a cute little parasite, aren't you? Parasite? Uh, that's a big word for such a small creature. Come on now. What is your name, little one? Uh, it's not going to respond to you. However, it is going to shoot little sparks of flame out at your hand and go in a little circle, almost like it's trying to warm up your hands to sleep in. And it's uh, going to be a little painful. Sparky. <laughs> you call it Sparky. Can, can you call it Sparky Sparky Boom Man? Well, he's not a man, is it? How do you know? Well, because he's not a full human. It's not full humanoid. I mean, it's a very tiny mm. baby thing. Making making a lot of judgment calls around here, Ulrich. First the cobalt, now fairy dragons. I don't know. I, I, I didn't say shit about cobalt, you ass. You were oh, saying that the thieves. Bridge. I didn't call them thieves. I asked if they you... made things. You just talk about Luke, you put your head together, man. Turn the maps upside down. I suppose Off Sparky Sparky will be fine. What what do you want, little one? It's going to kind of like as as it's now singed your hands thoroughly yeah. and curled up uh, and finally found like a spot after like three turns. It finally found a spot. It's going to just lay down and then like set its long neck and head down and look like it's going to sleep in your hands. It's like it's found what it's going to. In your mind, you're going to. Uh, feel and kind of see swirls of yellow and pink. And you know that this means contentment. From, uh, am I getting the sense that it's from the... Yes. Um, Luke will look down at it and just kind of a slight smile tugging at his lips. And then he'll shoot his eyes up towards Timor who is now sitting in a tree, looking down at this happening. Um, and Luke feels the skin on the back of his neck start to kind of bunch up and tingle and kind of almost, it feels like it's ripping away from him. And he fights that off and he, he kind of just enjoys this moment of contentment with a bean that actually seems to be nice for once. <laughs> uh, you're going to feel like a sharp little pain in uh, your stomach. And then the colors are going to swirl to a kind of brownish red in your mind. And you realize that it's hungry. And you kind of feel hungry too. Should we take but a you know this feeling is coming from it. Should we take a, a rest, everyone? Uh, no, I think we've been turned around a little bit. I think it'd be best we keep going forward. I'm feeling a bit peckish. I need a ration. Yes. Perhaps Chauncey can get you something? Oh, yes. He seems pretty skilled. Chauncey, would you, would you mind uh, flavoring up a, a ration or two for me? Oh, you are sure of anything particular you're, you got your anger on for? Uh, yes, I, I have, uh, uh, Luke will just hand over two rations. Wait, do I have any rations? You probably have rations. You probably do. They're not in my adventuring kit. Uh, we'll just mm. say I have some. We wouldn't worry about that, sir. Whatever you're feeling like, I'm sure I can whip up the jiffy. Whatever your specialty is, Chauncey. Oh, lumpies all round. Oh, <laughs> oh I'll take a lumpy for making them. <laughs> nice, cool, refreshing cherry lumpy for you there, Rory, if you want one, sir. <laughs> I, 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 I understand that last time you, you had to steal yourself somewhat to chug it down. So when I thought I'd um, try and bring out the flavor a bit more, cover up whatever part of it was you wouldn't like in. So I, 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 managed to, I managed to stuff an extra amount of good cherry in there for you bursting with flavor so it is i inspected every berry in particularly to find the best gushers for you can i oh. insight check chauncey right now yeah because <laughs> i chauncey, know are I you know what I'm are you resisting do you want to roll a deception <laughs> <laughs> nope. all right 
Sorry, my character is got closed. I'm out. He's perfectly innocent and well-meaning. Yeah. <laughs> He's perfectly innocent and well-meaning. <laughs> <laughs> Doubt. Uh, okay. Chauncey, mate, listen. Nothing against you. There's nothing against you cooking. I'm sure it's fine. Just don't care for cherries, mate. Never have. You don't... You don't care for... For cherries, but they're... They're nature's sweetness. Right. See, this is the thing, right? It's, sweetness is subjective? Oh, you don't know if it technically is that. I mean, you know what they say when life gives you cherries? Chow down. Um... <laughs> I'm not really from I've... around here, Chauncey. I'm not familiar with that phrase. Oh well, um, well, well that's absolutely fine. I, I, I guess it. Oh, right. right. Um, I mean, what, 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 is there anything you're particularly palatable to, sir? What else you got there, Chauncey? Um. Um. Well, you see, I can always, um. Pick you out some good cherries. They're awfully filling, and and they, well, they make people feel much better. Oh wait, hang on, no, that's the wrong thing as well. Oh crumbs. Um, oh, I I haven't really thought about it to be honest with you, sir. I I haven't I haven't much one for experimenting now. Hey, right, it's fine. It's all right. Everything's perfectly fine. I will tell you what, I appreciate the gesture. I recognise it as a, one of friendship. And it is mutual, right? Oh well, yeah, sir. I, I thank you for that. I this, this sirs makes no sense, mate. I ain't no sir. My name's no Rory. And that's what you can call me, and <laughs> no crumbs about it, eh? Well, Shanti, if you have a need, you can talk to me or I believe Nick at the hideout. Uh, is actually pretty skilled in the kitchen. If you have a, want to try something else? I've heard stories of Nick. Uh, uh, often he talks about his cooking and and all the things he's 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 rustling up. But crumbs, I, I doubt he even knows I'm at the hideout. Such a skilled chef, such as that. He's probably never even seen me. He's never so much as looked at me. What I've noticed. But oh well, I guess it will just be chase glances across the kitchen table. <laughs> I mean, I can help you if you need it. Oh, well, oh, I appreciate that. I wouldn't want to take up any of your precious time. You've got all your vast quantity of non-shinies to be keeping you busy. Whereas I'd much rather be keeping Nick busy, I must admit. Well, Alpha's always on the table. Uh... Always on the table next to breakfast. Oh, right, I'll put that I'll put that in the old memory bank there, sir. Don't you worry. I'll come bothering you when the time is right. Uh, as the... Uh, Al, what do you call them? Lumpies? Oh, hey, my lumpies. Lumpies. Um, as the lumpies are created, uh, Luke will eat one and will feed one to Sparky as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, it will love it. Uh, it'll pick out the cherries uh, in particular um, and munch those down. And you will get, that. again, uh, swirls of pink in your mind uh, as you can tell that it is very happy and also a little sleepy and the pink will become kind of like tinged with purple hmm. all right little guy if you'd like to come along uh, you can sleep in my hood all right it's gonna start crawling up your arm and i don't know if you've ever had a kitten crawl up your arm but it's going to feel like pinching tiny little razor sharp needles uh, as, as it just crawls right up your arm and then it will uh, just kind of curl around the back of your neck uh, and go to sleep. Uh, and Luke, who has been wearing his hood uh, this whole time, uh, takes it off and you all realize that he has shaved his head. Um, and Wait, where'd your hair go? It fell out, Ulrich. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
Yeah, yeah, so too much magic. Um, uh, but if you pay any closer attention, you'll notice that there are runes. Uh... Oh. oh no! Uh oh! oh Tony! Oh, oh. All right, we will go to break oh, no. and deal with that in just a second. Uh, be back. For a shock. Hmm? I didn't have to work hard. <laughs> <laughs> You knew it. You knew what was gonna happen. Cold open. <laughs> uh, all right. So we are currently waiting for our our friend to join back. Uh, when their internet is back. Rip Tony. Uh, thoughts and prayers go out to his router. Uh, but meanwhile, we will continue as if Tarlo is here and present and just having a bit of a quiet moment. Um, so with Timor helping, I will allow you guys to advance, uh, a bit more directly in the way you want to go. Uh, what is everyone doing though? Just really quick. I just I wanted to. Was, oh, yeah. yeah, I just wanted to finish up. Uh, as mm -hmm. Luke pulls his hood uh, back, he is bald now. Uh, but it's there are these arcane runes that seem to almost be etched into his skin um, that actually have some gradient to them. So it's not like they're on the surface. It looks like they've actually been carved, in. and they are a purplish color. Okay. Um, I am going to do into let's see here. This is a uh, quite a different look. Uh, uh, those hairs gone from magic. Oh yes, but also the. Uh, the, uh, I am not sure why it is like that. Oh, did someone uh, scribble in your head? I don't know. Oh, I'll ask Kaba when we get back to the hideout. Has that happened to you before? Or like... No, no. You, you, were you, were asking, you were asking Luke some questions. I'm going to go up ahead and check mm -hmm. this branch out. It's branch. Look at that. <sighs> Branchy. To answer your question, Lenore, uh, it's it's always been like this. It is until recently that I've decided to embrace the look. Well, it looks very good. Thank you. Anyway. Uh, and as Luke kind of turns around, Timor just fucking dive bombs him and sails past his head like a bullet just straight past his face. Fuck it, bird. <sighs> but Timor will help. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is the most jerry rig thing I've ever done in my life. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's not uh, great. Fiction. I have to get it on a phone clip, get my headphones. I have to use a rubber band to put my charger because I had the big brain idea of, oh, I don't need to charge my phone today. <laughs> the worst. Absolute worst. Sorry. Well, you got back here. That's all that matters. <laughs> Now we get to um, play uh, musical chairs just a little bit uh, as I play with Zoom uh, and switch all of you around. Neat. I am Sorry, wait. now. <laughs> Quick, say something and that happens. Uh, I feel like we've got a couple days. Uh, Rory would kind of like it, picking at some of the food that Chauncey has made and looking across the fire uh, at Lenore he'd kind of like squint at her a bit Ooh. 
Where are you from, Lenore? Uh, actually, um, not that far from the, uh, the hideout. Right. You don't talk much, Lenore. You don't seem to do so easier. <laughs> or at least not willingly. No, well, I like that about me. Quite frankly, I like that about you. Why, though? I mean, why does you do anything? Um, just keep to myself, you know? Is there anything specific you would like to know? What brought you to the Harpers? Well, I, uh, I'm looking for someone. I figured, um, doing some work here, uh, could possibly give me some favors in the future to find this person. I know what that's like. When I got here, I looked, I looked for someone for a long time. It took me a bit to recognize that I wasn't going to find them. At least not here. I hope you find who you're looking for there, Lenore. I hope so too. Um, and I hope you find yours. Um, how long, how long have you been in the Harpers? All right, it's been a few years now. You? Not very long. Um, maybe, maybe a year or so. Not, not super long. Yeah. Can't say I've been too active. Down recently, but um, as you guys are talking, a half elf druid is going to step out from between the trees, uh, a short distance ahead on the path, looking in your direction. Uh, she has dark auburn hair, loosely braided and adorned with wooden beads flowers and wears a simple green linen dress uh soiled or dirtied with soil um and oh hello visitors in the wood what a dangerous time to be here that means i'm amazed yeah but we're here to stop the there from being danger in the woods so you're here to stop it of course our harpers harpers aren't you supposed to not tell people that you're harpers aren't you a secret group are we yeah it seems a little silly to me hmm. so what are the harpers doing in the wood of sharp teeth can I kill a dragon or tell it to fuck off ask it nicely are we going... I thought I was going to be collecting Wait. like flowers and, and mushrooms oh you can do what you want or, or, or collecting um, the, the children that are trapped in We're also to yes we're yes, going to save the, the kids Save the kids, of course. But like, 
Um, as you mentioned that you're here to slay Dustbringer and rescue the Pianthus children, Marla's eyes will light up and she will say, that is splendid news indeed. The dark magic of the dragon has already begun to pervade the forest. I, I'm Marla, um, but I, I, I'm i glad you're here, but I, I worry that uh, your quest to rescue the children will be in vain. I cannot see a way that they would have survived. But if you truly are headed for Raven Glade Keep, could you perhaps do me a favor? Sure, I don't see why not. I vibe check that excitement at uh, slaying the dragon and all of that. That just seemed. Mm hmm. Okay. Vibe check it. I'm just uh, ready to help. Rory would also be vibe checking. She seems. Go weird. ahead. She seems perfectly friendly. I don't know what you're talking about. Ooh, 23. 17. She does seem excited that you're going to kill the dragon. She also seems to want something. Yeah, what she's, do we, not, we... she's not excited for killing the dragon for killing the dragon's sake. Uh, she's she definitely has something she wants. What do you need us to keep an eye out for? The library there is ancient. Uh, the 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 keep, you know, is built on top of an old elven city from long ago. So many books there special rarity uh there is an ancient grimoire uh one which i would like to acquire uh, the tome would allow me to commune with the fey spirits of the woods i think they could help undo what the black worm has wrought so if you could acquire this grimoire for me it would be most helpful and i could Commune with the Fae and heal this forest. <laughs> and Tarla will laugh. Oh, you think the Fae? You're gonna just help out? Uh, I'm sorry? Are you speaking of the old elvish city of Alar, I assume? Uh. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm, no. I want to say it was. It did start with an A. Mm, it's not Villar. Those ruins are to the north. Hmm. Yep. I want to say it was Askavar or something like that. Some ancient city. Right, this whole so... forest used to be full of uh, a nation of werewolves. You know, they had cities all over. Right, so you just want the book and then the fae will help drive out the whole thing. Yes, yes. Uh, I, can, I can heal from the Dark Worm's magic. Just casting magic? I thought it was just breaking bridges. Oh no. It 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 destroys the the natural harmony between fey creatures and the wilds when it comes here. It's so destructive, you know. I but if don't. if you could just find the book, it's called The Grimoire of Keeping. All right. I'm supposed should, to keep it. It should out. have some like uh green runes on the front of it. You should be able to find it. No problem. Oh, keep an eye out, but uh, no promises, I suppose. Of course. Uh, if you accept, then then I can do something to help you. Uh, sure. I'll help you. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and the young half-elf reaches into her satchel and pulls out the skeleton of a rabbit. The bones oh. are connected by strands of what must be hair. 
Uh, don't fear <laughs> the poor dear. It's a grisly necessity, I'm afraid. Uh, the bone which is binding is an old kind of magic, but nothing to be scared of. Uh, and then slowly, Marla begins a strange sort of hopping dance around you, shaking the bony skeleton with each jump. And as she circles you, Ulrich, she gets faster and faster and starts thro throwing a fungal-smelling powder into the air over your head. Oh, uh, okay. At the zenith of the ritual, Marla calls out in a strange tongue, her body shaking with the effort... And then the frantic druid tumbles back, clearly exhausted. Forgive me, she mutters. I'm not as fit as I used to be. Uh, the enchantment will turn away any blade destined for your heart, as long as you remain in the woods. Uh, and mechanically, you have the death ward spell on you. Ooh. Until it is used, dispelled, or you leave the wood of the sharp teeth. Well, that's oh. good. Yes, so you should be able to bring the book back, no problem. Well, hopefully. Uh, but, uh, you know, we came to just check on you. Just see how you're doing, but it seems check you're all right. Me. Oh, yeah, we heard you were out here. I heard I was out here. From whom? Well, you know... Even in a lot down there south of here? Leia. Yeah, Leia. Alar and... Leah. Leah, thank you. Yep. Leah and Alar and Fivin and those folk. Oh. The, uh, the warriors of the Sunning. Yes. I, I, I had thought them all wiped out by that dragon. Well, no, they live, thankfully. So, that's good. Mm, that That is very good. So, you're, you're good? I'm good. I don't see why I wouldn't be. There's nothing out here in the forest uh, that I would come across. The dragon's not looking for me. It doesn't even know I'm here. Hey. You know what it is looking for. Mm, I don't. I haven't come across it. I've seen it fly ahead overhead a few times, but I usually just tuck under the branches and it continues on. I have a question, right? I mean, no offense. If you was friendly with the folk who sent us out here, why wouldn't you just pop in and borrow that book? Before well, now? I, I tend to just keep to myself, you know. Insight check. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a dirty 20. Uh, <laughs> she may be telling the truth about keeping to herself, but uh, she definitely isn't wanting to just uh, pop in on them, so to speak. Uh, I don't know if she feels like she would be super welcome or really wants to get involved or draw their attention too much. Sorry, we just met and hate to what what aren't you telling us well I'm sure a great many things about this book about your intentions things my you intentions didn't... are to 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 uh, uh Reach out and connect to the Fae. Why? But, the Fae are very tricksy. Yes, but I believe that if I were able to connect with them, uh, 
I might be able to uh, influence the forest and, and really, really uh, heal it using, using my own uh, abilities to really bring it back to its, its full luster. It seems pretty well grown right now. If you are, of course, suspicious, since we've only just met, you are welcome to come to my cottage. We can we can have tea and, and get to know each other. Uh, the little spell I put on you, uh, dear, should should uh, last until it's needed. So no worries about time. Hmm. I'm more so worried about the kids. Oh, yes, the kids. Yes, you will want to go and help them should they still be alive up there in that keep with that dragon. Yeah. And that's our question, actually. Um, do you know anything about a uh, a red orb that uh, this dragon keeps, like, talking to or is... Uh, I don't know, it interacts with a weird orb of some kind. Like a gem? I don't know, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, no, they didn't describe orb? it to be yeah, gem-like. Exactly. Yeah. Just like a glowing orb hovering around its head. Not to my knowledge, no. Well, I don't know. I haven't gotten particularly close to the dragon. I don't want it to even know that I am here. I'd rather not get, you know... Uh, in a fight with a dragon and especially one that breathes acid and is so terribly grumpy for whatever reason. Hmm. That's his deal. Well, I'm very confused. At first it sounded like you wanted to lure us back to your place to murder us all, but then you said you wanted <laughs> us to go to the castle and uh, we'd die there, and now you're warning us about the dragon. I'm just very confused of where we stand. Murder you all? Of course not. I... I was hoping you could help me with the task of getting that book, but this young man seems to not trust me since we've only met, and I know you have so many more miles to journey, you might as well just take a rest at my house and then we won't won't be strangers anymore. Charlo doesn't really trust anyone and Lou lives in the woods. Hmm. I was more speaking about that young man right there, and she's gonna indicate Rory. Oh! Yeah, well, Rory doesn't really trust anyone who lives in the woods either, it seems. If you don't mind, you know, you, true. you used a little bit of magic on my friend here. Would you mind if I did a little magic myself? Oh, of course. And Tarla will detect magic. Uh-huh. Um, he'll look at Ulrich. Does he sense the necromancy kind of magic that would associate... With the false life spell? Death Ward. Death Ward. Or Death Ward, rather? Yes. Okay. It does appear to be the the correct magic of a Death Ward spell. Okay. And then I'll look at her. Mm-hmm. Does she seem to be radiating at all? Any uh, she does have a slight illusion ping to her. Just, is it a faint outline of her body? Or is it, like, just on her person? I mean, what do you mean? Would it be, like, the entirety of herself? Or would it be, like, her clothing? Or, like, a ring? Uh, it seems to be mainly her, like, just her. It could easily be, like, a glamour to make herself look hotter. Or you're not sure. Uh, nice little hate... makeup spell. Yep. And I don't like that because I know the Fae do that kind of shit. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, Luke is going to check in on Sparky and see how Sparky is reacting to this situation. Okay. Uh, Sparky's just sleeping on your shoulder. A uh, little tufts of smoke will come out of its nostrils every so often as it kind of snores very, very quietly and gently, almost like a purr. Luke is if not you poke it, it's going to just kind of like open one little one eye and then and go back to sleep on your shoulder. 
Luke's not going to attempt to wake him up fully. Okay. Well, would you like to come back to, to my cottage? I have a few potions that you could have or you can go on to your... I'm not trying to lure you back to murder you or whatever silliness that was. Right, well, I'm convinced. Mm. Don't mean any disrespect. Just think it's a bit odd that now that the cape's destroyed and is residented by a dragon is when you decide that this book's worth having, that's all. Well, I just figured since you were going there, um, you could just uh, take care of that for me. Just run a quick little errand. I don't really like to uh, go up there. I like to keep to myself. Hmm. Why is it? Yeah, why did you just, like, go and ask him for a quick pop-in? Hmm. Well, I've just found that, uh, you know, people can be so hard to live with sometimes and, um, you know, it's just, I'd rather not deal with anyone that, uh, that isn't family, you know. You're a family? Well, of course, doesn't everyone? No, I just, you know, uh, didn't mention them <laughs> yet. Not really, not anymore. Oh, well, Charles is special. What's your, uh, what's your family like? Uh, well, like me, I guess. That's fair. Still, it feels like you could have just walked in. They seem like decent folk. Oh, yes, but I wouldn't want to go there. Bit of a recluse, you know. If you're trying to get trust, you might want to... You know, kind of like motion, like the magic he can kind of notice they probably not have such deception I'm I am sorry what do you mean why are we accosting this woman can we not just be on our way we could good if we get to this grimoire this book I can read it no matter what language it is and if I determine that it's evil in some way, then we won't bring it back. Simple as that. Or we will dispose of it as as it sits there. Well, I, I wouldn't like... recommend disposing of it. It is a magical book. It would take quite a bit of magic to destroy it. Well, we have places where we can bring it. But I do believe we should get on our way. She has potions, though. Yes, but the longer we wait, the... the this time those children have. All right, fair. <laughs> Shit. Fine. So we're just heading right to the keep, then? Came all this way just so I get a bit of fairy dust sprinkled on me and none of y'all's? Well, to be fair, I mean, that will keep you from dying. Hey, sure, good, good for me, but like... Are you complaining about getting free things? No, I'm complaining that... I'm not complaining, I'm just saying we came all the way out here and not all you guys just want to turn back. It sounds like you're complaining. I, I just... think if anyone deserved a little sprinkle of fairy dust, it was you, sir. Well, thank you, Chauncey. But I'm saying you don't want, like, any of the benefits of coming all the way out here. M miss, yeah. uh, how far away is your your home? Oh, <laughs> and she looks, uh, you know, feeling like uh, you guys were all just having that conversation in front of her. <laughs> I was just, oh, <laughs> it's like within a day's travel from here, it's just a few hours. I'm sure I've I've wandered a little bit far collecting things. She Things might have like some of your what? plans. Oh, do you do you also collect plants? I I I frequently collect herbs and different fungi and all of that. Well, I am on the lookout for certain things, but Well, if if you're 
going. Uh, just, I'll see you soon, hopefully with the book. But if you would like to come back to my place, uh, we can absolutely get you set up with some rest before you continue uh, on to uh, the keep to slay the dragon. So, a couple hours and then rest, and then we make our way off, or do we go now? We have to make camp anyways. Might be nice for some of you to have a roof, right? Perhaps. Uh, and oh, that's, kind of... that's kind of where you are right now, by the way. Yeah. Uh, you'll right see Tyler here. just kind of like shake his head kind of a no. I'll try There's, not read into the subtext that you don't like the way I set my camp and my cooking, but don't you worry about it. I'm sure this woman is much more amenable to your tasks. Her head, is, her, her, her pillow is going to be much more fluffy no, than I can think you no, I'm sure the floor is going to be more or less lumpy because that's how you like it, but that's fine. I won't take no offense to my campsite. Chance is going to be spitting in our food for the next couple of months. <laughs> Rory, Rory will look Chauncey dead in the eye and with him. see. No, Chauncey. we like your lump. It's the best campsite I've been since I traveled to Tegan. This feels like home. I meant no disrespect. I love your lumpies. I'm going to inside check that. Please, no contest. No contest. <laughs> and I have a minus two. For sure. <laughs> I love your lumpies, Chauncey. <laughs> Who are you inside checking? I'm inside checking Rory. They said it was yeah, the best I camp ever. He said it's the best. 12. It's the best camp he's been in since he traveled with Tegan, and a twelve will still do it. He a hundred percent meant it. Hmm. Oh, sir, you do know how to write. Well, in that case, then I don't know what we're standing about here with this lovely lady doing. We're taking up more than enough of her time. It'll be dark before she gets home at this rate, and then all the beasties and boglins will come out, and then we'll all be right looking silly. Now, if there's all these little kitty winks stuck away at the castle, I reckon they'd be our number one priority. And I understand that as much loveliness as there will be waiting for us back at that there cabin, the couple of hours there and a couple of hours back, plus the snoozy bits in between, would land us in a right pickle. You said that all in one right breath, actually. Surprise. I'll do that for you. He's got a good point. Like that, actually. I'm Chauncey. impressed. But, uh... Uh, uh, hey. All right. Well, I, I'll see you hopefully in a few days after you're done doing your Harper things and slaying the dragon at the castle. Sure. Sounds good. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Okay. See you around. Right. And she, she'll just kind of wave to you and, and wander off into the forest, uh, stopping at a few trees here and there to collect some more uh, plants or random little mushrooms growing at the base of trees. On to the keep? Yeah. A, yeah. Little, bit, <clears throat> a little bit later, once when, when feel comfortable enough to be like out of eye and ear sight, I'll be like, oh my gods, that could not have been much worse because that, what was her name? Marla. Yeah, she was very much not who she appeared to be. Sorry, we're making assumptions now. No, I could see it. Could see what? Once in a while I can see little bits of magic and all around her was illusion. She was completely deceiving us in exactly what she looked like. You so mean she, she didn't have no fluffy pillows? She didn't have like she could a have good nose or something. Or anything that she wanted to. Well. She could have been a hag. She could have been anything. She could have been any fae or anything. Well, we'll be on to give the book to her. I wouldn't suggest that. If a fae wants more fae, there's complications. What, like they have to give birth or something? I wouldn't know their reproductive cycle. Oh. But do you remember like Pink Shine? 
Oh, yeah. Pink Shane. Good fella. Now think of something like that, but wanted more than just teeth from people. Making deals here and there for any number of things. And think of it as an entire forest filled with them. Be a bit tricky. It wasn't right forthcoming with a lot of what she was saying. Seemed off vaguely. I assume you guys are walking while you're having this conversation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh. Well, she seemed nice enough. They usually do. You remember how Pink Shine was very forthcoming and polite? Well, they can act like that, but it doesn't always mean that that's what they mean. Um, yeah. As you are walking, your ears suddenly ring with the whooshing oh. of air through the oh, canopy. Not far away, the bough of a dying oak cracks away from the trunk and crashes into the undergrowth. What little sun penetrates the woods casts a monstrous shadow of a dragon across the ground before you. And it's headed in your direction. Time to Crumbs. dip. Uh, hide, hide, yeah, hide, hide. Rory will get very serious. We should hide. Yes. Come on. Oh, what? All right, it's both. run. Pulling Chauncey into the bushes. Like, do stealth <laughs> checks as you flee into the underbrush. Luke is invisible. I'm going to use my advantage on purple on this. Oh, I know. And also going hey. to use my advantage. They call him out to me. Twenty. Eighteen. Nineteen. Okay. Do you want me to? Uh, yeah. What was that, Ulrich? I sorry. I um, because my screen is small, I can't see the bottom of it. Uh, so I will have to. Uh, you'll have to imagine uh, me rolling a stealth check. But that is in total going to be an eleven with my plus two, a thirteen. Okay. Uh, you will hear the sound of air swooshing over leathery wings as a head seems to swivel in your direction and the towering figure of the black worm swoops down to the ground before you you guys almost made your hijacks <laughs> ton of a bitch but Ulrich was just a little too clink 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 with his armor <laughs> um you notice that the dragon, uh, as it folds its bat-like wings to its side, uh, is missing a few talons on its front left claw, and one of its horns has been shattered. Floating around the dragon's head is a spectral ball of light. Impudent dolts. Uh the dragon will call out to you. Uh, and then let me pull Hold on just a second. Let me just find this one really quick. Um, impudent dolts, leave my domain. The wood of sharp teeth belongs to, and then abruptly, the dragon stops speaking as if she is interrupted. And without warning, she exhales a gout of acid from her gaping maw. Cool. Uh huh. Nice and bad. So, uh, let's see here. Everyone, if you could just. Roll a dex check for me. A saving throw, actually. Uh, it gets everyone. Mm-hmm. It gets everyone right there, yep. Yeah. 60. Uh, 60 foot. Oh, nope, nope. It's a line. Hold on. Yeah, it's a line. It's gonna get... <laughs> At least two people. Line, probably. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Uh... Hmm. 
<clears throat> you may have spotted me. That's where I am. Mm-hmm. Could it uh, do that? So if she does right there, it can hit all four of you. Oh. And Rumble. Oh. Well, Rumble's dead. Bye, bye forever, Rumble. Okay. Um, no bones will. don't recast either. Can I you will. roll uh, your deck saves and call them out to me? Yes. Six. Oh, God, was I one of those people? 19. Yes, you were. Okay, cool. 10. I rolled a 10. I'm a monk and I rolled a um, 10. <laughs> but Luca, oh. I would like to cutting words that spray of acid. No, why would you do that? Because it minuses the damage by a D6 total. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I, I'm trying to help also, you get out of here. I hear, I hear you, but no, it also good. like engages. It, it just. I hear you, but like yeah. if it melts with some leaves. Let's see. I want to be mostly it dead like that. So it can hit that. Oh, Ulrich, I think you'll actually be okay. So the person that tipped it off will be fine. Mm, it missed. Son of a bitch. <laughs> what? What do you mean it missed? It missed you, Ulrich, and just shot out its acid breath. Mine is a D6. That? Oh my <clears throat> god, that's so much damage. Can I use one uh, of my features? Acid is, uh, for what? what is your feature? A warding maneuver. Uh, let me put this off here. Um, anytime a creature is hit by an attack, it can roll a d8 as a reaction, add the number, rolls the creature's AC, but even if they do get hit, they get resistance against the attack's damage? No, because it goes for AC, not their dex. Oh, fine. So, Lenore, Tarlo, Rory, if you saved, if you rolled uh, an 8 Teen or higher, go ahead and take half of 53. Otherwise, take the full. Um, I still take 20, half because of evasion. 26 okay. is half. Uh, uh, also, Rumbles. <laughs> Gotta take that as well. I will Rumbles also, dead. Yeah. Mm, yeah, Rumble. uncanny dodge uh, well. My body. Yeah, that acid will splash across uh, and it will hit Rory uh, and he'll like life like it will hit so hard that his body will kind of flip back and he will like it will look like he is dead uh, okay. um and seeing, there will be a like yeah go for it seeing this uh dusk bringer is actually going to lift up into the air uh pumping her wings uh hitting a few branches knocking them down and uh fly towards the keep thinking that she's handled and uh, sufficiently scared you away. Oh, God. Um, oh, fuck. Oh, it's Tarlo, like... just like acid burning the right side of his body will clasp onto the hilt of broken tenacity as a bonus action getting a D8 plus two healing and seeing Rory half fucking melted on the goddamn ground not really he'll his body is going to be like not moving at all for oh, an uncomfortable amount of time as you're like approaching it and then there will be a sharp like <clears throat> as he oh, just God. like takes a gasping breath but like it's you can see like he's barely there are you uh, you're not all right i don't even need to ask and he'll heal you uh, can someone roll an intelligence check for me? Anyone that was paying close attention to the dragon? Uh, yeah, Roar would have had her. Uh, you get an 11, Rory. I'm sorry, no. Uh, rolled just, twice. Just intelligence or anything just intelligence. specific? Nope, just 16, Rory. <laughs> Thank you. Nine. <laughs> Oh man, you guys didn't, uh, you guys were getting, uh, you were too busy, distracted check. by that acid attack. Oh, 14. Lador, like, 
rolled. Like, okay, listen. Roll okay, wait, what are we rolling? Sorry. Just an intelligence check. check for anyone that was paying close attention to the dragon. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, no one was really paying close attention um, and just got acided. Um, and we're paying attention to that. Wow, guys. I'm and I'm not. Why would my monk be smart? I, I mean, no, I know. It's just wow. Wait, have we used all our good tables? Can one of our good tables help us? <laughs> we 100 percent have not. We um, have like. Come on, GM. You, have, you, you have got a bunch oh, of I never used uh, a 16 wouldn't okay. help either because I had a plus. Fine two then. Death. Fuck. You using the good table. You will have noticed. That not only did she seem to get interrupted mid-talking and then attack, um, she also, after attacking, was going to step forward and then again turned her head as if listening to the glowing red ball and then decided to lift up and fly away. And that's one. And the other good table is you can, with confidence, uh, tell that that creature was a will-o'-the-wisp. However, its coloring is very wrong. It should not be red. It's a fey creature, correct? Will-o'-the-wisp? Will-o'-the-wisps yeah. are usually souls of the departed. Given uh, fey form, kind of. They're souls that haven't left to where they need to go. Uh, oh. Um, okay. Rory, you... Mm, better? I'll be, I'll be fine. Just leave me be. Are you sure? Is that why you're alive? Oh fuck! I'm sorry. Lenore, are you fine? Mostly, I I was able to snatch off a fair amount of it. Well, I think you still see a couple of burns. Probably best yeah. get rid of that. Jeez! Yeah. I don't stop acting stuff. Well, Just you get nine. You hope so. I should at least stop the bleeding, and the burning, and the awfulness. Are we still several days travel away from the keep? Yes. Uh, okay, yeah. Rory's going to pop a few key points and lay his, like, where the bulk of the acid was. He'll just kind of gingerly lay his hands as, like, Tarla's magic is kind of stitching back, like, flesh. He'll just gingerly place his own hand, and there'll be, like, a couple of rapid pulses. Uh, he's gonna cast uh, a healing hand on himself a couple times. Uh, as as Rory does that, uh, he will also feel uh, an invisible presence uh, walk up to him and place a hand on his shoulder. And Luke will cast um, cure wounds at third level twice as well. Okay. So that's 68 plus. Where the hell is this move in here? <laughs> it's too many. You got what, their D8s for you now, or D6s rather? Uh, that's what I'm trying to find. It's just like so many things. Too many. Oh, here we go. As an um, action, I can spend two key points to gain 1d6 plus 3. And then, roll it. Hilarious. And then 35 points of healing also, Rory. Okay, thank you. Orca, are you alright? I didn't get you. No, I'm just... I feel terrible. I'm sorry. I, you all it's, went to it's go fine. jump into bushes or something. I just kind of stood there like a fucking tree. It's fine. 
No one. No, it's fucking not. Rory, no one's not dead. Ass. Or... Oh, shut it. It's no one's fault. Chauncey, like, try to look around, not seeing him. Chauncey? Oh, gods. Oh, sir. Yes, I'm, I'm here. Oh, thank Sorry, God. I was pulled into a bushel. Oh, I thought perhaps. Doesn't matter. You're you're fine, right? Oh, don't, you're fine. It, it don't matter. You got all your limbs. The important ones, sir. You got your pot. <laughs> Thank you for that. I needed that. <laughs> uh, Luke will kind of just look down at the melted remains of Rumble. Uh, that's a shame. Goodbye, my friend. I'm um, sorry, Luke. It is not your fault, Ulrich. Pretty, pretty sure it is. Couldn't see any is. To be fair, Rumble also just could, kind of stood there, so could have been him as well. Uh, DM. Yes. Uh, as oh, no. Rory kind of pushes up on his feet, the magic kind of st- stitch in his flesh together as he moves uh, and he stands he'll kind of put a hand uh, out to kind of steady himself but he's going to look up and like around is there any immediate threat like by there's like, no clearly... immediate threat other than okay. there's acid still dripping off of a few trees and rocks um, mm-hmm. and just really quick I saw that heartbeat dice followed so I'm just repping my heartbeat dice hello huh yeah. hello <laughs> dice they're so pretty <laughs> Um, (laughs) but, uh, as we're, as you're looking around though, I'm going to resolve the last two good tables. Oh, dang. We're Um, finally getting through them. Acid is going to eat away at an old log on the forest floor, revealing what was once, uh, possibly a fallen adventurer. Oh, no. And you will see that on... Uh, his body are a couple magic items. A feathered belt, which contains 1d4 unreplenishable charges of the Featherfall spell, and a medallion called the Renaissance Medallion, which once per day you may gain a plus one to any skill check and be a proper Renaissance man. Is it, yeah, is it the Renaissance Mandalion? Uh-huh. You don't get it. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. Uh, hey, GM. Mm-hmm. But how does the body look, though? Yeah, there are bones there. Yeah. It's just bones. To... Luke's, Luke's going to spend a little bit of time uh, casting Animate Dead to create... Rumble, too. Nope. Tumble. Oh, God. Don't make me rename the token. <laughs> Damn you, Ty! <laughs> um, okay. All of the good tables are now resolved. And you guys turn southeast towards the keep. Uh, set to arrive there soon. And I am going to end the session there. <gasps> to be continued. We got a dragon to kill. You mean we're not going to go with a seven hour session? We are not. Case nine. <laughs> this is very strange. Cliffhangers. Mm-hmm. That's why he's called Cliffhanger. Oh my god. Hell yeah, assist. between the lions. I'm I'm here for this. Mm-hmm. That hat was red, damn it. <sighs> Great session, everybody. Good yeah, morning. so Rory died. Oh. It was fine. <laughs> What? It didn't. Yeah, die. no, that he took that took all thank God I have relentless endurance and popped up with one HP. That knocked me the fuck out. Wait, how much damage did that do total? Fifty-three. Rory Shh. has fifty-two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, there's your tumble. And I wasn't yeah. allowed to thank you if I cut in words because we didn't want to combat. Um Yeah, we're not okay. killing no dragons. I just want to be Perfectly clear I mean, about what the fuck is happening. Been saying that since the start. Yeah. No, I'd rather not. Listen, 
the preamble to what happened around this time last season was the players said we want it to be harder. No, 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 no. I would no. I am calling back. There was <clears throat> anyways. One player that said that. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. We are not having a year for old <laughs> discussion about Ben and Bang. The grudge lives on, Luke. <laughs> I want to grudge. So with that, we will call the session there as a to be continued. And you know, uh, with fair amount of confidence that uh, Nick is on his way. Hopefully he... Uh, brings another harper with him we know he was out uh you know doing tasks in engineering or whatever and mm. he uh will be joining you soon as soon as uh he returns to the hideout and not as we as we hamish can send him out um so uh that will conclude session seven of season two of Harper Investigations, uh, a two-parter. Um, thank you all for joining us. Uh, tune in for more every other Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Part two of this session will be Tuesday, April 13th. I am Luke Locke, and I have been your dungeon master this evening. Players, would you like to go around and sign off? I won. Hello, I'm Osiris Franco. I played Rory Daywind, the half orc monk who died but didn't really die. He seems to have a trend of this. Um, if you like my face and the words I say sometimes, you can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Osiris Franco. As for things I have coming up, catch me over at Nat 20 tomorrow for Beyond the Tides, where I play Harrison Gandazar, a very goofy wizard, uh, polar opposite of Rory in a lot of ways. Uh, you can also catch me back here. On Thursday, where we do a Roundhouse uh, Monster of the Week campaign wrap-up, talking about season one and all the twists and turns. And I'm very, very, very excited to have that conversation because there's many fun things that went into that campaign uh, with the wonderful saint. Uh, and then, you know, it's Easter weekend and I'm going to take a little bit of a break, y'all. So you won't see me for a while, but I'm uh, very excited. Uh, maybe I'll do a random stream on my Twitch. I don't know. We'll see. So keep an eye out. Passing that on over to Sir Heck. Hey guys, it's me, Sir Heck. You know. You know. And we, we do know. <laughs> you can find me at Sir Heck a lot on uh, Twitter and Instagram and in the lovely Discord that I have linked already in chat. Um, it's a fun time. We had a discussion about the Dark Echoes cast today. Um, all of that it happens um i played lenora the ergonasi rogue that uh thank you evasion because otherwise lenora definitely would have died <laughs> so not died died but definitely would have gotten knocked out so uh rogues the best anyway um you will see me not until on tpk at least you won't see me until sunday for total party recap uh, along with Cole and Turk, who's already still here. Uh, but on Saturday, I will be playing um, a bard in Neon Lights Roleplay's uh, Seven Sons campaign. So uh, come check it out if you're not doing anything at like 4 p.m. on Saturday. Uh, moving it on to Tony. Hey, this will be quick. I'm Tony. I play Tarlo. You'll see me next week, Tuesday, doing my Beyond the Undergrowth campaign where I still have to do some of my own uh va for some things um i'm procrastinating the hell out of because i'm not sure what to do um other than that you not till the 10th for the next dark echoes where we have a great surprise for you all uh it it's great you'll love it uh pass it to tyrant everyone i'm tyrant you can find me uh well on twitch and twitter at dr tyrant um I played Luke, the ever slowly changing uh, wizard warlock. We'll see how finding this new familiar affects him in, in ways that may soften his heart. Uh, tomorrow, I will be over on that 20 for Beyond the Tides, where I will be playing 
the opposite <laughs> of warm and fuzzy. Uh, my a fighter rogue who likes to murder people in cold blood. Totally not problematic. Um, <clears throat> on Thursday, I'll be back here for Roundhouse Whitebridge, the recap of season one, where we will be talking about some crazy tinfoil hat uh, conspiracy theories, 100%. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Come check it out. Um, and then I will be back, uh, I believe... Uh, for Dark Echoes on the 10th, uh, playing my blind uh, half-elf druid, Winchester. Um, that's always fun. We're traveling through the spooky lands of Barovia, so come check that out. It's always it's amazing. Uh, and then, real quick, on the 16th, I will be GMing a very special Monster of the Week one-shot based in the world of Scooby-Doo. All of the cast members... Um, of which there are three in this chat and this on this call right now, um, have been assigned their uh, their characters. We're building character sheets, and uh, the assignments will be released uh, in a very special format very soon. So keep your eye on the Discord and Twitter for the awesome promos. Uh, but let's pass it on to Turk. Yes, thank you very much. I am Turk or Turk Accented here on Twitch and Twitter. Uh, I had the distinct honor of playing Ulrich of Dunville, uh, the armored cavalier human fighter. Um, I'll be hanging around a lot on TBK, obviously, for all the wonderful things uh, that are coming up. Uh, on Thursday, I will be on the Roundhouse, uh, Roundhouse Roundtable Roundup uh, for season one. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Bring your tinfoil hats because uh, Purple thinks he knows what the numbers mean. Uh, he's going to be really insane about it. Uh, Saturday, uh, I will be bringing up all of my anime vibes for this next very special episode of Top Shelf as we play Over Arms. Uh, a very good anime inspired crew is gathering once again. Uh, and uh, we're all bringing together some, some really fun things. Uh, it's going to be very exciting. Uh, of course, on Sunday, as Heck mentioned, we'll be breaking down anything and everything good that occurs here on TBK uh, with Total Party Recap um, with, of course, Heck and myself and Cole, who is in bed probably by now and wishing him well, uh, but we'll be hanging out and having a great time. So please come check that out. Um, we'll be on Dark Echoes, of course, as Alexander Sergeyevich Leonid, the divine soul sorcerer, who is definitely not a vampire. Please stop calling him a vampire. Like, oh. Not even he's a, a werewolf. werewolf. I he's thought we decided werewolf. he's a werewolf now. Ah, great. Okay. I mean, we'll just go down the really in, by, ne just... by, ne by next week, he'll be a Mothman and he'll be wonderful. Oh, um, shit. Hell yeah. Luca, let's drop the stats. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as, as I mentioned, uh, I will indeed be here on the 16th uh, for a very fun Scooby Doo one shot. Uh, I'm very excited to play my character who doesn't at all fit my personality how dare you um and then another very special super fun run one shot uh coming up on the 25th and of course the bars are framed on the 24th so make sure to check all those things out as well as right being right back here on the harpers but i've talked a whole bunch so i'm gonna stop and save my words and throw it over to Al. hey folks it was me you're welcome as ever, Alabitha playing the frankly ridiculous uh, hospitality halfling, chauncey, portly fellow. Why would he not be? And if you like that ridiculousness and fancy some more, right here on TPK, I'm part of all the weird stuff. So if you want someone that does the weird stuff, this is your guy. We got aliens. We've got weird uh, survival in the Arctic. We've got some ridiculous uh, hijinks in Scooby-Doo. There's plenty more, you know, kerfuffles and whatnot planned later on as well. So don't you worry. There'll be more nonsense than you can shake a twig at. But otherwise, if you cannot wait for all of that, you can find me over uh, on my channel here on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Albifer. Currently, we're playing through think Dragon Age was the last bit with our epic elven hero sorcerer Brian who's doing fantastically so far so if you want to check out Brian and see what he's been up to you can find me over there tomorrow uh, we stream uh, 2 till 7 BST which is a time zone only used by the UK and Portugal so if that's your views to you then that is also information but otherwise good luck I'll hand it back to Luke 
All right, again, Eyes Luke Luck, um, and this was the Warriors of Sahanin. You can get it on uh, DM Scaled, uh, but we only did first part of it. We're going to get second part of it next session. Um, you can catch me all over on all sorts of things this month. Very exciting things, but uh, rather than go through all of them, I will just tell you to go to the website and check out the schedule uh, and just take a look at our content. It's all pretty awesome. Uh, and with that, I will say good night. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>